double Goku comparison. This Saiyan is too curly. 26 Guess Who Saved the World Piccolo Daimao saw three people yelling at him. He laughed and said, Hey hey. These overreaching guys dared to challenge me to Piccolo Daimao. Master Roshi stood on the ground and shouted at Piccolo Daimao in the air. Calm down, Piccolo. The Dragon Ball is in my hands. Well, you actually know me. It's not easy. However, you are so stupid to challenge me knowing that I am Piccolo Daimao. As soon as the words fell. Piccolo Daimao jumped down. Piccolo Daimao fell down to show how majestic his height was, standing directly opposite Master Roshi. Beside Master Roshi, Klin and Shin Shin Han stood in a stance. Obviously it was three against one, but Piccolo Daimao was very tall, and the three of them looked very short. However, whether it is Master Roshi, or Kling, or Shin Shin Han, they are not afraid at all. An awe-inspiring look. Master Roshi pointed to the ground and said, The Dragon Ball we collected is here. If you can defeat us, just take it away, you are welcome. Piccolo's face turned grim, ha 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 ha, you old man is really interesting. You won't be able to laugh anytime soon. Piccolo Daimao continued to laugh and said, ha 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 ha, the guy who doesn't know the heights of the sky and the earth, it seems that you have only heard a legend about me, and don't know the real me. Birdman's subordinates sneered on the spaceship, it's ridiculous, someone dares to duel with Piccolo Daimao, ha 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 ha. Master Roshi looked up at Piccolo Daimao, said lightly. We have met before. Piccolo froze for a moment. HMPH, stop talking nonsense. It's not nonsense. I once fought you with my master Wu Dei I do. What? Piccolo Dei Mao's face instantly panicked. The next moment, Master Roshi popped out a rice cooker. Piccolo Dei Mao went limp from fright. You must still remember the trick that Master Wu Dei I do used to seal you with a rice cooker, thus saving the world. When Piccolo Dei Mao saw the rice cooker, he no longer had the courage to fight, and suddenly flew behind him. However, Master Roshi didn't give him the slightest chance. The hands came together, and a group of green strange energy instantly enveloped Piccolo Daimao. Magic ceiling wave. Ah, 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 ah. Piccolo Daimao's figure twisted, and he was instantly sucked into the green energy. Spin, spin. Piccolo's figure melts into the vortex as Master Roshi smashed towards the rice cooker. Suddenly, the picture ends. Question mark ding. The prize quiz is on. Question mark. Excuse me, in the world of the red light curtain. Who is the one who finally eliminated Piccolo Daimao and saved the world? A Master Roshi, B Kling, C Sun Goku, D Shin Shin Han, question mark. The people watching the movie were stunned. What? Why do you still ask? Isn't this a free reward? It must be Sun Goku, he's on his way. Vegeta calmly said, Master Roshi is probably wrong, it must be Kakarot, I choose C. Shin Shin Han said, yeah, our world martial arts teacher is wrong. Later, it was Goku who drank the super holy water and gained power. Finally defeated Piccolo Daimao with difficulty. So, that world should also be Goku. I choose C. Number 18. Teacher Wu Tan has given up his life. Can't he aim once with such efforts? I choose A this time. Number 17. I think Sunny Goku beat Piccolo Daimao. Didn't you realize he's here? Master Roshi. Of course I choose myself. I choose A. He ha he. My wish is to have a beautiful young lady fall in love with me. Please don't give wishes randomly. Topo. Master Roshi is simply too righteous, I choose Master Roshi, I choose A. Dispo, that's right, the angle of the Master Roshi in that world is very accurate. I shouldn't have miscalculated, Master Roshi must have succeeded. Makarita, the one who can save the world must be that handsome Sunny Goku. My wish is that I in that world can meet Sun Goku, some romantic love stories happen. I choose C. Vados, the one who can save the world must be the Sunny Goku of that world, I also choose C. Looking at the four options, Bulma murmured. Who else can I choose? It must be Sunny Goku from that world. I choose C. Kalin, I still have an option. Am I not worthy to save the world? If no one chooses me, then I choose myself. Chichi looked at the four options and hesitated for a second. The one who can save the world must be that world Goku. I choose C. Kualifla frowned, and said, It's really hard to guess. If Master Roshi is really targeted, then Piccolo's crisis will be completely resolved. Kale looked at Kualifla and asked, Sister, what do you choose? I'll be with you. Kualifla hesitated for a moment, and said, Choose A, the Wushin teacher in that world is not easy, what's wrong with aiming once? Kaya nodded, well, I also choose A, I will listen to my sister. Shin Shin Han, I don't understand why I was added, this ending is either Wushin Sensei or Goku, what does it matter to me? Suddenly, Shin Shin Han froze, could it be that I practiced the magic seal and sealed Piccolo Daimao? Shin Shin Han recalled that scene back then, because Piccolo vomited an egg, his magic wave was useless. If he has practiced Mo Fengbo, it is still very possible to seal Piccolo Daimao. I choose myself. Choose D, Vermit. This kind of question usually has suspense. Let's rule out Sunny Goku first. If Master Roshi is excluded, I will choose B, and forget about the little bald head. 27 Another variable, the bad idea of? Risotto. The screen continued to play. Master Roshi is still casting magic ceiling wave. Klin and Shin Shin Han exerted force with their minds. Go in, you. In an instant, 
Piccolo de Ima's body was sealed in the rice cooker, the lid of the pot was automatically closed, and the great demon king was sealed. Klin and Shin Shin Han rushed to Master Roshi. Teacher Yushin, you, Master Roshi half closed his eyes and said, I plan to fight, but his sense of oppression is too strong. The three of us together are not opponents, so we might as well be more stable. As soon as the words fell, Master Roshi closed his eyes and lost his breath. Teacher Yushin, Teacher Yushin, Shin Shin Han and Klin shouted the title of Master Roshi hoarsely. Shin Shin Han probed Master Roshi's heartbeat. Weakly said, Teacher Wu Tan. His heartbeat has stopped. Klin clenched his fists, looked at the dragon ball in the soil next to him, said, Teacher Wu Tan. Don't worry, the dragon ball is almost collected, we'll be bringing you back to life with the dragon ball soon. Freezer, damn it, I got the seal. I got it wrong. Master Roshi raised two fingers in a gesture of victory. Ha ha ha, I finally got the answer right. My wish is to make the pretty lady fall in love with me. Kalin, unexpectedly, it actually hit, unexpectedly. Jiras, teacher Wu Tan sacrificed his life to save the world, that's great. Grand Priest, the Master Roshi of the Seventh Universe is really good. Zeno also shouted, yes, yes, it's really great. Topo, ha ha ha, sure enough, even can never defeat justice, I got it right. Dispo, he he he. My calculation is still as accurate as ever, and I got it right. However, the screen continues to play. Vegeta frowned. No, why didn't you stop watching the movie? Others were also shocked. Number 18 frowned and said, It's already sealed, and it's not over yet. Could it be that there are still variables? The screen continued to play. The camera was actually given to Piccolo de Imao's Birdmen. When Birdmen's subordinates saw this scene, a look of horror appeared on their faces. How is it possible? Another ice cooker. Mixed rice said, It's a big deal. Can't you just turn on the rice cooker? Birdman's eyes shook, and he seemed to have an idea. Bring me the bazooka, quick. See Shin Shin Han and Kling are beside Master Roshi, and Birdman's subordinates actually picked up the rocket launcher. Everyone watching the movie started cursing. Damn it, the rocket launcher goes down. The rice cooker breaks, and Piccolo de Imao comes out again. Master Roshi yelled, you two idiots, quickly put away the rice cooker. Why do you care about me being a dead person? Topo, damn it. It's already sealed, how can you use this kind of thing to break the rice cooker? It's too foul. Jiras, damn, that birdman's behavior is so unbeautiful. The chowder trio on earth were dumbfounded. Xiao Xia looked at the mixed rice and said, King Pilaf, it seems to be a bad idea from you in that world. Xiao, oh, it's too bad, if this is the case, Miss Bulma will drive us out. Chowder, damn it, I was just ignorant back then, how could I help Piccolo de Ima? Xiao Wu, it's over, it's over, we're going to start wandering again. I can't bear to eat the endless mudjayaki and sauce pancakes here. In the red light curtain, the screen continued to play. A rocket shot straight at the rice cooker. There was a violent explosion, and a mushroom cloud rose into the sky. Shin Shin Han and Klin were blown away by the aftermath of the explosion. Even Shin Shin Han is not much better than Tao Bai Bai. At this time, the two of them have not yet shaken the power of the rocket launcher. Fortunately, the two of them were still able to protect Master Roshi's body. After the smoke cleared, Piccolo's figure reappeared. He gasped heavily. Both Kling and Shin Shin Han are silly. It's over, it's over, he still has men. We miscalculated. Piccolo de Ima glanced at the birdman subordinates overhead. Showed admiration. It's a good job, it's a good thing you didn't come down. Thank you, great demon king, for your compliment. The Piccolo demon stood up and laughed wildly again. Ha 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 ha, ha ha ha, he is dead. The person who can seal waves is finally dead. The birdman said to the mixed rice, just now your idea has made great achievements. I will definitely let His Excellency the Great Demon King reward you. Ha ha ha, I've won the prize. Chowder laughed heartlessly. Piccolo looked at Master Roshi's body and took a deep breath. It was really too dangerous just now, I really didn't expect that there would be someone who can seal waves. But he died at last. Nothing scares me anymore. Piccolo de Imo flicked his finger. Five dragon balls emerged from the mound on the ground, respectively hovering over his palm. He retched, and a dragon came out of his mouth. Already have six dragon balls, and one more is coming soon. My wish to become younger is about to come true. Ha ha ha. Just then, Kling and Shin Shin Han stormed up. In just a split second, Piccolo was kicked out by Shin Shin Han. Kling took the opportunity to gather Kamamiya and blast Piccolo de Ima. However, both attacks failed to cause substantial damage to Piccolo de Ima. Vegeta said angrily, These two idiots, don't run fast, you are wasting your life here. 28 That Goku is so strong, a tough choice. The scene changes. Given to Goku and Bulma on the jet. Boomer is still piloting the jet. Sunny Goku looked at the radar and seemed to sense a violent explosion not far away. Immediately shouted, Bulma, quickly stop and land, and hide below. Bulma was stunned. Are you here already? The distance is not far. You hide nearby. I will kill him myself. I am worried that there are other people around Piccolo, and I'm afraid I won't be able to take good care of you. Well, then be careful. The two landed quickly, and Bulma hid in a bush. Goku was worried that the opponent would be chasing him. 
So he took the dragon ball and flew towards the direction where the dragon balls gathered. He was flying far faster than a jet. In less than a minute, he came to Piccolo Daima, seeing Master Roshi lying on the ground, and Kalin and Shinshinhan with bruised and swollen noses. There are six dragon balls on the ground, Sunny Goku frowned. It's still a little late. Piccolo Daima saw Sunny Goku and also saw the dragon ball in his hand. He laughed and said, Ha ha, thank you for sending the last dragon ball. Are you the champion of these two martial arts tournaments? Sunny Goku looked at Piccolo again. It's me. I'm sorry Piccolo. Your era ended before it even started. Piccolo sneered. Are you kidding me? How dare you challenge me? Piccolo Daima, let you taste my power. As soon as he finished speaking, Piccolo stepped on the ground and attacked Sunny Goku fiercely. The huge fist hit Sunny Goku's face with great force. Unexpectedly, the fist has not yet touched Sunny Goku. Sunny Goku had already kicked Piccolo hard in the chest. For a moment, Piccolo's mouth opened in pain. His eyes were bulging, and the whites of his eyes were cracked with countless bloodshot streaks. His body couldn't control himself and he took a few steps back, drool dripping from the corner of his mouth. Klin and Shinshinhan were shocked. Krillin took a breath. Is this really Goku from the tournament? His real strength is so strong. Shinshinhan also swallowed. Piccolo Daimao, who is as strong as a man, can't even block one of his moves. Piccolo Daimao looked at Sunny Goku in disbelief. He never expected that this small body could be so powerful. It was just one kick, and all his internal organs were tumbling. Impossible, absolutely impossible. How could I lose to this guy like you? Sunny Goku walked towards Piccolo Daimao step by step. In an instant, an unpleasant feeling filled his body. Piccolo's legs became weak and he stepped back step by step unconsciously. Sunny Goku walked towards him with cold eyes and said, What is impossible? Your time has long passed. I wanted to kill you, but you died just now. Piccolo shouted angrily again. You're going to die for your shameless words. The next moment, a strong beam of light emerged from Piccolo's mouth and hit Sunny Goku directly. Sunny Goku looked at him calmly, and just waved his hand lightly. The energy wave was directly bounced out by the small palm. Piccolo panicked completely and said in shock, how is it possible that this kind of attack can be blocked with bare hands? Suddenly, Piccolo gritted his teeth and said angrily, damn it, I've been sleeping for too long, if I regain my youth, you will definitely be no match, ha ha, you really think highly of yourself. Sunny Goku showed disdain. The next moment, Sunny Goku stepped forward with a flash, with a heavy sweep, Piccolo was knocked to the ground in an instant, he wanted to get up immediately. Unexpectedly, Sunny Goku quickly made several heavy blows, directly interrupting Piccolo's hands and feet. The screams echoed through the sky, lingering in the air. Before Piccolo could finish screaming, Sunny Goku had already stepped on Piccolo's forehead. He could no longer move at all. Both Klin and Shinshinhan were stunned. Being able to block Kid Blast with bare hands is simply terrifying. Piccolo was actually broken by him, and he had no strength to resist in front of him. This is too strong. At this moment, Sunny Goku threw the Dragon Ball on his body to Krillin. He didn't kill Piccolo, but said to Kling. Summon Shenaron, make a wish and I'll kill him again. Krillin caught the Dragon Ball, a little surprised. Wouldn't it be better to just kill him and summon Shenron? Sunny Goku continued, just do it. Don't ink it, hurry up. If the content of the wish is to revive a person killed by Piccolo Daimao, Teacher Yushin should not be counted. If you make a wish to bring Yushin Teacher back to life, then the other people who were killed by Piccolo's gang are dead. Also, there will be no more Dragon Ball. The choice is up to you. Saying so. Sunny Goku also stomped on Piccolo. Piccolo screamed again, and his breath weakened by three points. Klin and Shinshinhan were shocked. Master Roshi died from the backlash of a demon ceiling wave. Strictly speaking, he was not killed by Piccolo. However, if Teacher Wu Tan is resurrected, the people killed by Piccolo will not be able to be resurrected this year. But why do you say you will have no more wishes in the future? Will the resurrection be different next year? The moviegoers were confused. What does he mean? But only the people in Universe 7 understand, Piccolo said. It seems that Goku knows about Piccolo and the gods. Beerus, as expected, this guy must be a time traveler. Krillin, it seems that Goku plans to kill Piccolo completely. Number 18. Although Piccolo Day I'm out deserves death, it's a pity that there will be no Dragon Ball in the future. Piccolo's face turned completely green. In another world, he received a box lunch before he was born. On the red screen, Klin still asked his doubts. Why can I only choose to resurrect Teacher Yushin or people killed by Piccolo? Can't we resurrect Teacher Wu Tan next year? Piccolo who was lying on the ground, was suddenly shaken. Seemingly grasping at straws, he shouted loudly, You can t kill me. The Dragon Ball was made by the gods, and the gods and I are one. If I die, the gods will die too. The god is dead. Dragon Ball will no longer exist. 29 All conspiracies are in vain in the face of absolute strength. Klin and Shinshinhan were shocked. Unexpectedly, there is such a thing. Shinshinhan roared angrily, Piccolo de Imao, you are lying. How can the gods be one with you? Sunny Goku shook his head and said, what he said is true. The two were struck by lightning in an instant, petrified on the spot. After breaking away from the shock, 
the two fell into entanglement again in an instant. You will be resurrected. Both of them are numb. In order to save the world, Mr. Wu Tan sacrificed his life. Especially Kalin was even more tangled. The relationship between teacher Wu Tan and him is not ordinary. He is not only a teacher who teaches Korea, but also a guide in life. As for those martial Taoists who were killed, they were not familiar with him. If he could, he didn't want to save the world, but Master Wu Shen. However, choosing to save one person or choosing to save many people is a difficult problem. Sun Goku shouted, don't hesitate, summon Shenron. Shen Shen Han looked at Kalin and said, then let's save more people. I think Master Wu Shen thinks so too. Tears welled up in the corners of Clint's eyes. Kling put the seven dragon balls together and shouted loudly, come out. Shenron. In an instant, the seven dragon balls complement each other, the golden light flashed, and a Shenron meandered into the sky. The huge Shenron said in a majestic voice, tell me your wishes, any wish can be granted. Kling and Shen Shenron saw Shenron for the first time. Both of them were shocked by this scene, thinking that teacher Yushin could not be resurrected. Scenes of him kept flashing through Kling's mind. This kind of problem, even if placed in the entire tournament of power makes people choose. I believe most people will be entangled. Saving more people is for righteousness. To save Master Yushin is to show filial piety. Choosing between the two is indeed a difficult choice. Finally, Kalin walked forward hesitantly. Shenaron, please let everyone killed by Piccolo de Imao's group. However, just after such a hesitation, before he finished speaking, a voice interrupted Kalin. Rejuvenate Piccolo de Imao. Everyone was shocked. On the spaceship high in the sky, a birdman flew towards Shenaron and shouted this slogan. A flash of lightning instantly struck everyone's minds. Oops. Snatched by him. The next moment, Shenaron's eyes lit up. Very simple. Piccolo de Imao's body quickly regained its youth. Because of the physique of an Amikian, his strength returned, and his injuries quickly recovered. Sunny Goku's figure flashed, distanced himself from Piccolo de Imao arrived at Kling's side. Both Kling and Shen Shen Han panicked. Kalin hurriedly apologized. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I hesitated. On the contrary, Sunny Goku looked calm. He shook his head and said, it doesn't matter, maybe, all of this is destined. Clint was dumbfounded again. What is doomed? Sunny Goku's words sounded mysterious in his ears. At this moment, the wrinkles all over Piccolo's body completely disappeared. Infinite power poured out of his body. Ha 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 ha. Yes, it is this powerful feeling. I have regained my youth. The birdman in the sky showed a look of joy on his face. Great, great, I succeeded, Shenaron said. The wish is fulfilled, see you next time. After speaking, Shenaron turned into light and entered the dragon ball. The seven dragon balls instantly lost their luster and flew all over the world. While Piccolo basked in rejuvenation and strength, Sunny Goku interrupted him. Piccolo de Imao, don't be too happy. Even if you regain your youth, you are no match for me based on your strength. Piccolo made a gesture towards Sunny Goku. Just kidding. I'm Piccolo de Ima, die. In an instant, Sunny Goku shot a ki blast from the palm of his hand, which went straight to Piccolo de Ima. Piccolo couldn't think of it. He's back to full strength, but still can't keep up with Sunny Goku's speed. That energy wave hit like that. He watched helplessly as the not so thick beam of light penetrated his chest. In an instant, Piccolo felt the coolness all over his body. Powerful, too strong. There is simply no way to resist. Relying on his Namek physique, he can recover from injuries. But he understood that the gap with that Sunny Goku was too great. Even if he recovers, he cannot escape death. Piccolo de Imao's thoughts spun quickly in an instant. In the next moment, he made a difficult decision. He opened his hands suddenly, and golden light exploded all over his body. This light is too strong, similar to the light intensity of solar flare, with a certain amount of damage. Sun Goku, Kalin, and Shin Shin Han all covered their eyes with their hands. In the bright light, Piccolo gathered most of his energy and vitality, and he spat out an egg. Using all his strength, he threw the egg out. The egg suddenly flew towards the distance. In the next moment, Piccolo's body swelled rapidly and exploded suddenly. Watching the movie, Piccolo breathed a sigh of relief. He in that world was still born. After the explosion, everything returned to calm. However, Sunny Goku looked in the direction where the egg was flying, with a smile on his lips. Everyone who watched the movie saw this strange smile. He did it on purpose. Yes, he could smash Piccolo, but he just penetrated his chest. This guy, I still can't bear the Dragon Ball disappearing. Vegeta, all conspiracies are futile in the face of absolute strength. Question mark ding. The movie watching prize quiz is over, and the correct answer this time is, Sunny Goku. Question mark. 30 Red Goku has grown up, it's time for you to get married. Hearing the prompt of the final answer, Vegeta was deeply relieved. I knew it was Kakarot. Congratulations, the answerers for this question are, Vegeta, Makarita, Vados, Bummer, Chuchi. Rewards are being distributed, please wait. Seeing the winners. The crowd was stunned. Topo, it turned out to be Sunny Goku. Dispo, I've already done the calculations correctly. Who the hell would have thought that someone could break a rice cooker? What the hell? Vermit, damn it, I ruled out the wrong answer first. Seeing that Vegeta was the first one to answer the question correctly, Bulma turned pale instantly. Unexpectedly, even Vegeta can see the light curtain. 
didn't he go to the tournament of power? It's over, it's over, it seems that people all over the world have seen the dark history of my mother. Sin. Chichi looked at the light curtain in disbelief, and exclaimed, I, I got the answer right. Question mark ding. Reward Vegeta's ultimate intention. Explanation of self-extreme intention work. The user's excitement and overwhelming emotions to motivate himself and become stronger at will. When using self-intent, the user's chi will become the same as gods of destruction. As the fighting spirit increases, the user's strength will increase without limit through instinct. Question mark. Ding. Reward Mac character's face value plus 10, charisma plus 100. Question mark. Ding. Rewards Vado's body plus 10, charisma plus 100. Question mark. Ding. Reward Boomer can choose to restore any age state, keep it forever, and live forever. Question mark. Ding. Reward Chichi 9,990 trillion yuan in cash. Question mark. For a moment. Vegeta felt a strong force gushing out of his body. This is stronger than the dark blue he just mastered. Even with Jiren, he felt like he could beat him just as well. Vegeta clenched his fists excitedly. It's unbelievable. This power is too powerful. What is Ultra Instinct? This is the power I really want. Makarita didn't feel any change. However, when the bald heads of the 11th universe saw her, their eyes were full of love at this moment. She immediately took out the mirror and looked at herself. This, my god, I am so beautiful. I am fascinated by myself. Surprised by the change in himself, Vados gasped. Oh my god, this reward is so in line with my wishes. A4 waist, peach hips, vest line, my dream figure, I have it all. The moment Bulma saw the reward, she already noticed the change in her body. She was pleasantly surprised. Great, great. Finally I don't have to collect Dragon Balls anymore. Never worry about sagging again in this life. Chichi was watching the live broadcast, and suddenly, Stacks of banknotes appeared in his house out of thin air. More and more, more and more. In an instant, the house exploded. The top of her head, her feet, and her whole body were surrounded by thick banknotes. Oh my god, I got rich. This money is enough for our family to spend ten lifetimes. You don't have to worry about money anymore. Ha 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 ha. The red light curtain continued to play. Kalin and Shinshinhan had self-blame on their faces. Kalin covered his head and said sadly, It's all my fault. It's all my hesitation. Neither Yushin teacher nor the martial artist killed by Piccolo Daimao can be revived. Shin Shin Han clenched his fists tightly. If I could put away the rice cooker in the first place, this kind of thing wouldn't have happened. I really deserve to die. Sunny Goku waved his hand and said, Don't blame yourself. This time next year, Dragon Ball will be back again. Then make a wish. The two were startled. When I was about to ask Sunny Goku what was going on, I found out that he had left. Above the Kali Tower, the Temple of Heaven, Bobo and Damshin looked down, showing disbelief. Bobo. He deliberately let Piccolo die. Bobo nodded. Yes God, I noticed it. He discovered the existence of that egg. That's good. After two years, everyone who died because of Piccolo will be resurrected. There is the existence of that Sunny Goku. Even if Piccolo's descendants grow up, I don't have to worry about him bringing disaster to mankind. Kalin watched the conversation between Tamshin and Bobo, and then looked at Piccolo and Goen beside him. A smile inadvertently formed the corner of his mouth. Secretly said, the gods are really pessimistic. What brings disaster or something? That Piccolo will most likely become the grand nanny of the Sun family. I just don't know which woman that Goku will have a baby with. Better have a few more to kill Piccolo. Piccolo was also relieved to see his otherworldly self let go. He wiped the sweat from his brow. Almost died in the womb, thrilling. Within the red light curtain, time passed rapidly. Sunny Goku went shopping hand in hand as usual. It's just that Sun Goku's figure is getting bigger and bigger day by day. Gradually surpassed Boomer from holding hands at the beginning. Bulma often leans on Goku's shoulder. The time has come three years later. Xidu, in the living room of Boomer's house. Bulma lay in Goku's arms and watched TV. Both of them had happy smiles on their faces. Mrs. Bryce squinted, and came in with a set of albums in her hand. Goku, Bulma, I asked a master to design this. You are all grown up, and it's time to get married. Take a look, which wedding dress do you like the most? Bulma and Goku nodded. Yeah, Goku, let's travel and get married. Okay, I listen to you. Goku is so nice. Give me a kiss. The picture freezes at this moment. The red light curtain gradually faded away. Seeing this scene, Vegeta's veins burst out again. His hair instantly turned purple, and his whole body exuded the aura of gods of destruction. Damn, Kakarot, I will never die with you. 31 Saiyan invades and Sun S. Nani is born. The red light curtain faded, and the blue light curtain lit up again. The scene returns to the scene where Teacher Yushin died, Dumpling died, and Shenron died. The moviegoers instantly woke up from the warm emotions of Goku and Bulma. Back in this broken world, Piccolo Daimao regained his youth and drove off the Chowder Trio. Piccolo Daimao lost his opponent and began to do evil in the world, just to enjoy the fear of people. Wanton destruction of the city. Robbers, bandits, and criminals have all been set free. Burning, killing, looting and doing evil everywhere. For a time, 
the earth became a purgatory on earth. As soon as the scene changed, Sunny Goku seduced Yaki Liu Obai with fairy beans. Yaki Liu put Goku on his back and climbed Kalan Tower with difficulty. Yaki Liu Obai thought that the fairy beans were a delicacy. When he saw the beans that were just a jar, he devoured them angrily. In a moment, my belly bulged from being stretched. Freezer was shocked. Damn it, this guy eats fairy beans like this. What a crime. Why not support him to death? Freezer looked at Vegeta and asked, didn't any of you kill him? Vegeta curled her lips. The fairy beans don't belong to my family whoever the immortal Kalan intended to give to, Freezer, it's really annoying, next time I want to invade the earth and kill Yakarobe, snatch all fairy beans, don't stop me when the time comes, Vegeta, I'll stop you after you kill him, in the screen, Sunny Goku is healed by a fairy bin, drank super holy water and endured it for 6 hours, finally, the potential of the whole body was stimulated and stronger strength was obtained. Immortal Karen gave him another somersault cloud. Sunny Goku stepped on the somersault cloud and went to find Piccolo Daimao again. Shin Shin Han learned Ma Fengbo and challenged Piccolo Daimao in order to save the world. It's just that the big devil will spit eggs, and Shin Shin Han miscalculated. Under the strength of Piccolo, he had no power to fight back and almost died in battle. Fortunately, Goku arrived just in time. After a hard fight, Sunny Goku unhanded through Piccolo Daimao. The world is saved. The whole world also knew the news that Piccolo Daimao had been killed. People started cheering. The prisoners also obediently returned to the prison. Goku returned to Kalan Tower again, knowing the existence of the gods through Kalan Immortal. Ever since, Sunny Goku boarded the temple, encountered a god who is exactly like the old Piccolo. Popo glued the Shenaron model, and Shenaron came back to life. The Earth's Dragon Ball did not cool down and directly recovered its golden light. Bulma took the Dragon Ball radar and embarked on a journey to find the Dragon Ball again. Not long after, Shenaron was born again. Master Roshi, Krillin, and those killed by Piccolo have all been resurrected one after another. When the moviegoers saw this scene, they cheered and jumped for joy. Dispo, great, Shenaron can also be resurrected, and all the people who were killed are resurrected. Topper said excitedly, justice has come. Master Roshi, thanks to Goku, otherwise the earth might be finished. Kalin, anyway. I will die in the future. I really regret being resurrected. Shin Shin Han, since then, I have finally grown into a real man. Go and looked at Piccolo and took a deep breath. It's a good thing Dad didn't go to find Uncle Piccolo's egg back then. Otherwise, facing such an unreliable father, I really don't know how I've grown to where I am today. Piccolo gave Goen a doting look. Goen, you have finally grown up. The blue light curtain continued to play. Sunny Goku stayed in the Temple of Heaven, learning martial arts with Bobo every day and continued to practice. The picture of calmness like water has a hint of the prototype of Ultra Instinct. Seeing this scene, Wise Eyes became surprised. No wonder, that Bobo is also a strange person. At that time, Goku was already training towards the Ultra Instinct training method. Beerus, this guy, he didn't die after being so reckless, he is really a child of luck. The screen quickly fast forwarded. Sunny Goku's figure grew taller day by day. Three years passed in a blink of an eye. It's the world's number one martial arts club again. A pretty girl approached Sunny Goku angrily. In the arena, in front of the martial arts masters all over the world, he proposed Goku's promise back then. Goku, you said that when you grow up, you will marry me as your bride. Okay, seeing this scene, Bulma had mixed feelings. It was this time, the first time I saw the grown-up Goku. The first time I fell in love with him. But because of Chichi's appearance, they got married in situ. Also made me miss Goku forever. Chichi held a pile of bank notes and looked at the screen stupidly. I was so stupid back then. How could I fulfill such a childish agreement? Marrying someone who doesn't know anything is stupid. All these years, Goku has been a pain in the ass for me. The screen continues to play. After practicing in the temple, Goku's strength is not what it used to be. Goku defeated Shin Shin Han, and also defeated the second generation of demons who grew up. The new Piccolo. But because of the gods, Piccolo was spared. Piccolo hasn't changed his mind though. Still aiming to rule the world, he is working hard to practice. Once Sunny Goku is defeated, the world will once again fall under his rule. As everyone knows, everything has changed. The gears of Piccolo's fortunes began to turn. After the Budokai, Chichi put on a wedding dress, and Sunny Goku and Chichi held a wedding ceremony. In a flash, another five years have passed. Everyone gathered at the Gixian house again. Bulma and Yamka broke up. Both Goku and Chichi's children are four years old and they came to Yushin teacher's house together. Just in this warm moment, a Saiyan who calls himself Goku's older brother descends to Earth. Raditz was too strong for them at that time. In order to kill Raditz, Sunny Goku died with him under Piccolo's magic gun. In combat, Goen, who was only four years old, showed amazing talent. Before he died, Raditz revealed that Vegeta would come to Earth. A new crisis has begun. Piccolo took a fancy to Goen's talent and took the little Goen to practice. Since then, the world has lost a big devil and has gained a nanny for generations of grandchildren. 32 they are both Goku, but they have completely different lives. The blue light curtain gradually faded, and the red light curtain gradually became clear. It started with a grand wedding, 
and the two walked down the red carpet watching the two get married. Both Giant and Burdock's faces were filled with happiness. After the wedding, Bummer and Goku drove a jet and started their honeymoon trip. The two of them visited the world's famous mountains and rivers unscrupulously. Watch the sunrise on Mount Tai, hug and kiss in the morning light. Take a small boat ride on the clear waters of Gailin, rolling on the endless grassland. Chase butterflies in the sea of flowers. Warm each other in the snow and ice. Crawl on the glass walkway, bungee jumping off a cliff without a rope. At an altitude of 10,000 meters, they hugged each other and parachuted. Enjoy a cold drink and sunbathe on the golden sands. Teasing sharks in rough seas. Eat hot pot in the land of Sichuan and Chongqing. Eat big pot meals in extremely cold places. Have a drink in a tavern in Huhai. Thrilling, exciting, warm, romantic, leisurely. The two of them enjoyed all the imaginable scenery. The audience looked at this harmonious scene with various expressions. Beerus, this Goku really enjoys it. Wise, I didn't expect that there are so many wonderful places on Earth, and they really know how to play. Sunny Goku frowned and said, Don't he practice? It's such a waste of time. Krillin, Goku, haven't you noticed? Compared with you in the same age group, it seems that the time they spend playing is not as long as the time you spend doing farm work. Sunny Goku said awkwardly, There is no way, my family has no money. Chuchi insists on letting me do farm work to make money. If I had as much time as him, I would definitely practice. Vados covered his mouth and smiled. He he he, this is because your planning was bad. After Chichi married you, it didn't take long for him to quarrel with you every day. If you do this, you won't make any money, your family won't be with you, and you won't spare much time for cultivation. Sunny Goku scratched his head and said, Hey, it seems that's what you said, Piccolo said with calm eyes, no, he has been practicing all the time, but you can't understand it, Sunny Goku was taken aback, huh, is the, Weiss nodded, yes, his practice is in the heart and chi, not in the body, moreover, he has been looking for feelings and moods, and is exploring ultra instinct on his own, Sunny Goku blinked, really, I didn't even notice it, number 18 looked at the beautiful check in places with a look of yearning on his face, it's great to have money, I also want to travel to so many places, she glanced at the submissive Klin next to her again and sighed, hey, there is no play in this life, when Bummer saw his carefree self in that world, he was so envious that he exploded with envy, it's so romantic, I want that kind of life too, Chuchi is still holding a large pile of money, but seeing this scene, a sad look appeared on his face, is it really Goku, why is he so good at playing, I'm so envious, etc. Did he forget to marry me from that world? Damn it, that Goku, how could you forget the promise you made with me in that world? You promised to take that Chichi as your bride when you grow up, go find me quickly. Mark Harita, it was great watching them on their honeymoon. I have lived for hundreds of millions of years, but I still feel that my life is not as fulfilling as theirs in recent years. I am so envious, I also want a boyfriend who loves me. Vados, hey, what am I watching? Is this an idle drama? I also want that kind of life even if it means making me a mistress. Jiras looked at the scenes and was dumbfounded. It's hard to imagine that human beings can still live like this. Goku's way of life in the two worlds seems to be completely different. This gods of destruction has so many things to do every day, it's not appropriate to work too much and not get paid. Kalin suddenly looked at Vegeta and asked, Vegeta, are you watching a movie? What are you doing transforming into? Hey, is this your new hair color? Vegeta, Lanchi lit a cigarette again. Why is there such a big gap between Goku in these two worlds? Goku in that world, if you don't practice, what are you going to do with her? If you want to take her, you should take me. I am more sensible than her. It's so tiring to take care of her. But I can still take care of you. Dark Demon Realm. Mesh Capra looked at this scene, his face distorted. Human beings are so disgusting. Looking at those scenes, Tova's mind began to waver. I am a woman, what power do I pursue? Isn't this beautiful life delicious? That Goku, hurry up, come to the devil world. Let my sister love you well, Robert, little Goku from that world was finally grown up, come to the dark world, my sister will perform magic tricks for you, which will make you grow bigger quickly, Putin, yeah, it seems to be playing a prank on that boomer, how can she enjoy it so recklessly, the picture of the red light curtain is still playing, as soon as the scene changed, the honeymoon trip was over, and it was the day of the world's best martial arts club, the two held hands and came to the number one martial arts club in the world, a little girl with a high ponytail walked up to Goku and Bummer angrily, Goku, didn't you say you wanted to marry me when you grew up? Sunny Goku was obviously stunned. You? Chuchi's anger surged again. Okay, Goku, you forgot about me. I am the daughter of Ox King, Chuchi. Fortunately, I am thinking about you at home every day. Bama saw Chuchi and had a look of shock on his face. Chuchi, are you that little Chuchi? Have you grown so big? Sunny Goku seemed to be thinking of his promise to her that he would marry her when he grew up. There was a look of guilt on his face. It only took a moment to become firm again, said to Chuchi. I'm sorry, Chuchi, you are a good girl. I missed you. I already have Bulma. With that said, Goku hugged Bulma. Bulma also felt weak and fell into Goku's arms. Seeing the two of them acting so intimately, 
Chi Chi's eyes instantly lit up with fire. Son Goku, I hate you. Chi Chi left a message and stopped attending the martial arts meeting, and ran away angrily. Bulma's heart twitched as she watched Chi Chi's leaving figure. He looked up at Goku and said, Is she going to be okay? Shouldn't you give her an explanation? Sunny Goku took a deep breath and hugged Bulma next to him, said, When the martial arts competition is over, let's go to their house and explain the matter clearly. Well, I'm familiar with the routine of breaking off an engagement at home. I've watched a lot of dramas like this. At worst, give her some money. 33 Even if I tie him up, I will let Goku marry you. After going through the knockout rounds, there were only 8 strong players left on the field. Dumpling moved some hands and feet with superpowers. None of the people under Master Roshi met anyone else, nor did they meet Sunny Goku. Krillin, Shinshinhan, Yanka, Piccolo and others naturally entered the quarterfinals. The battle between the quarterfinals started again. The host shouted, in the next game. Player Sun Goku will face player Lanfang. First up is Sun Goku. After three years, he has grown up. As he becomes more handsome, he must also become stronger. Let us wait and see. The second person to come on stage is Miss Lanfang. Soon, both of them stood on the ring. Master Roshi's eyes instantly sparkled with love. He shouted loudly, Ha ha ha, Miss Lanfang is here again. Hurry up and kill her. Otherwise you will be defeated. Lan Chi looked at Sunny Goku on the ring and became excited all over. Is that the little kid three years ago? He's so handsome when he grows up. Oolong, Lan Chi, don't you have Shin Shin Han? Could it be that you two broke up? Lan Chi raised her eyebrows. We are separated. We are not together at all. The guy said he and I were not from the same group. Oolong nodded. I feel the same way. I always feel that his favorite thing is dumplings. Lan Chi. Bulma was shocked when he saw Lan Fang. She remembered the time when Lan Fang came on the scene and seduced Nan Wu. Unexpectedly. After so many years, she has not aged yet. Still relying on this skill to get around in the world's best martial arts tournament. Bulma immediately shouted loudly, Goku, don't follow her ink, quickly defeat her. The game begins. Lan Fang came up and winked. Handsome boy, do you want to date? Sunny Goku's mouth twitched. Auntie, hello, auntie, goodbye. As he spoke, Sunny Goku tightened his fist, and then punched out. A not very strong punch struck out. In just an instant. Lan Fang was blasted under the ring. There was silence in the stands for a moment. A loud round of applause ensued. Player Goku still has the same style as always, he can deal with everyone with one move. Master Roshi jumped up and shouted, You idiot, it would be nice to play two more rounds. It's true that he took the lead in attacking such a beautiful lady. Oolong chuckled. Grandpa Turtle didn't see her in a swimsuit, are you disappointed? Lan Fang rubbed her butt and stood up from the ring. This guy, don't give me a chance. It hurts so much. Contestant Sunny Goku wins. Winning the contest, Sunny Goku flew directly to Bulma. Bulma said, Good job, Goku. There is only one seat here. Reward you for sitting on my lap. Sunny Goku shook his head and said, It's better for me to sit on the chair. You sit on my lap. It feels like your stomach is getting bigger. Are you pregnant with a baby? Bulma was stunned and his face turned red with embarrassment. Really, really, it turned out to be like this. Wait to check back later. I thought I was getting fat. Sunny Goku held Bulma in a princess hug, sitting on the chair. He rubbed Bulma's belly and whispered, Let's see if we can get a future nanny for our future children today. Bulma obviously didn't understand what it meant, and nodded casually. The screen changed and suddenly it showed Chichi. Chichi looked back as he walked. Stinky Goku, I'm mad that he didn't come after me. I'll count to three, two, one. If I don't chase him out, I'm really gone. However, Chichi stopped for a long time, but Goku did not come out. Finally, he got on the speed car and drove straight to the fried bread mountain. Chichi returned home and started crying. Ox King coaxed Chichi for a long time before he understood what was going on. Hearing Chichi say Goku's original words, he immediately became furious. Damn brat, you deceived my daughter for so many years. I'll go find him to settle the score. Even if he is tied up, I will tie him back for you. Chichi was shocked and immediately grabbed Ox King's arm. Dad, don't go, you can't beat him. As soon as these words came out, Ox King was obviously taken aback. Yeah. That kid is too fierce, I can't beat him. Ox King became distressed. Suddenly, a light bulb lit up in Ox King's mind. Chuchi, do you really intend to marry Goku? Chuchi nodded. Of course, I've been waiting for him for so many years. Ox King continued, I remembered something. He was adopted by Sun Goen, and both Sun Goen and I were apprentices of Master Yushin. He is still my brother. With this relationship between seniors and brothers, it is impossible for him to refuse me. I'll take you to Sun Goen for reasoning. Even if you let Sun Goen tie Sun Goku, he will marry you. My Ox King's daughter, you can't just dump it if you want to. Chuchi's tears stopped abruptly. Really? Ox King nodded and said, Of course, how could I lie to my daughter? Dad, you are so kind. Ox King drove the car and took Chuchi to Bozy Mountain. The red screen changed again. Bozy Mountain. Ox King takes Chuchi and meets Burdock and Jine. Jine looked at Chuchi. A strange light appeared in his eyes, and he kept looking at her. Burdock asked, You mean... Goku promised you as a child that he would marry you? Chuchi nodded. Well, that time when Nand Bulma went to my house to find Dragon Ball, 
He personally agreed. Burdock frowned. You brat, Giant really spoiled him by not telling us about this kind of thing. Don't worry, you two, I'll catch him right away. Even if it's tied, I'll let Goku marry you. After speaking, Burdock flew out. Giant was startled, and immediately flew up and shouted, Burdock, wait for me. For a split second, both Giant and Burdock distanced themselves from Ox King and Shuchi. Giant complained, are you really going to catch Goku back? Burdock shook his head, I'm not going. I'm just not good at talking, so I can't explain it to them. Goku and Bulma were childhood sweethearts, who knew there was Chichi. I can't help it. Then you left me at home to entertain them. I'm embarrassed too. Burdock's brows furrowed into a such one character. Giant's eyes revealed a sly look. Said, our Saiyan planet is gone. The remaining Saiyans in the world are only our family. I see that Chichi is in pretty good physical condition. Why don't you ask Goku to marry one more? Anyway, we are not earthlings, so we don't have to follow the rules here. Burdock hesitated. Of course, I have no objection. The problem is, you have to get permission from Ox King and that little girl. Well, this Chichi is not bad. It's easy to give birth to and easy to coax. Leave it to me. However, there is Goku and Bulma, so you have to talk to both of them. Burdock clenched his fists and said, Chichi waited for him for so many years, and he didn't answer anyone. Question mark, comma. Chichi, leave it to me for a Goku, and for Bulma, I'll teach you. The corner of Giant's mouth twitched. This. All the cawthering difficulty tasks are placed on me. Burdock patted Giant on the shoulder. Thank you for the continuation of our Saiyan race. Giant was shocked immediately. When it came to the continuation of the nation, Giant immediately felt noble and stood up straight. Guaranteed to complete the task. Chichi and Ox King looked at the conversation between the two in the sky with puzzled faces. What are they discussing? Chichi, I can't hear you either. Dad, you said they won't run away right? The monk can't run away from the temple if he can run away, and they don't agree, so we will live here. Well, unexpectedly, my senior brother was dead, and his biological parents came back, otherwise it wouldn't be so hard. 34. Goku's parents are so cute. Soon, the division of labor between Burdock and Jain was completed. Burdock is tasked with finding son Goku. If he disagrees, subdue him by force. Jain is responsible for convincing Chichi and Doc's king. Wait until Burdock comes back. Jain also has to convince the Brives and Boomer. Planet Saiyan is a royal society. The fate of parents is also greater than the sky. These two days are the time for the world's number one martial arts association. There is one more day until the end. Nor did Burdock intend to interrupt Sunny Goku's jousting. After all, the last bonus was given to him and used for their living. This time it should also belong to them. After all, Goku and Bulma are not short of money. So after Burdock flew to the world's best martial arts club, just watch them compete in the back row of the audience and wait for him to finish the competition. So much so that even Bulma didn't see him. Jain entertains Ox King and Chichi at home. Although Jain is a female Saiyan, she is also a female Saiyan of a fighting nation. There is no rival in the whole earth. Something like Piccolo de Imao, she can handle ten or eight of them by herself without any problem. Don't worry about Ox King going crazy, either. Moviegoers couldn't help laughing when they saw the Burdock's behavior. Ha ha ha, those Goku parents are so cute. My son is already married. But I still want to force him to marry another bride. I don't care whether he has the physical strength to keep up or not, whether he can bear it or not. That Goku is so strong, so his physical strength is no problem. The main reason is that Goku is so good and treats girls so well. There is only one man like him. Let me tell you, Chichi is still the one who has good eyesight and has locked onto him. Yes, I like her too. Such parents are also very good. I support them. Only children should do multiple choice questions. It is the right way to do everything. Sunny Goku frowned and said, I was originally envious of that world where I didn't have to make money and had so much time to practice. Now it seems that I really sympathize with that me. Vados was stunned. Huh? Sympathize with him? Why do you say that? Goku said, since I married Chichi, I haven't he practiced as I wanted. I can't take a wife anymore. That I already have Bulma, and yet I am forced by my parents to marry Chichi. What a miserable life he had. Fortunately, I did not revive my parents. Vados looked weird. They are obviously the same person but their thoughts are completely different. Which link went wrong? Vados asked curiously. Goku, were you hit in the head when you were a child? Sunny Goku was taken aback. Hey, how do you know? I fell down a mountain when I was a child, and I still have scars on my head. My grandfather said that my temperament changed a lot after I fell. Vados' mouth twitched. I just made a random guess. I didn't expect it to be true. Master Roshi said, yes, my apprentice go and adopted him. He said that Goku was very fierce when he was young but he got better after falling once. Vados, come on, I understand why Goku is different in the two worlds. Vegeta, I finally understand, that Goku is still the original Saiyan's mind. From this point of view, compared with the people on Earth, we Saiyan are better. Piccolo curled his lips in disdain. This Vegeta is always bragging and proud of being a Saiyan. Did he forget that he was beaten by so many people? Krillin looked at number 18 and said with a smile, I didn't expect that Goku's parents are really good at playing. In order to deal with Chichi, 
let Goku marry one more. They actually want to move out the mountain of national continuation. Chuchi is just a love brain, shouldn't he agree? Number 18 raised his eyebrows and retorted, that's not possible. Krillin was stunned, why is it so wrong? Don't forget, that Goku is already married to Bulma. Number 18 said, so what if you get married? In that world, Goku's conditions and character. He treats girls so well, I don't even know how many little girls want to marry him. Besides, his parents were right. He wasn't from Earth and didn't have that many rules. There is no problem in marrying more continuation races. Besides, there are still several countries on Earth that practice polygamy. As long as he can afford it and the little girl likes him, it won't be a big problem. After hearing number 18's analysis, the corners of Klin's mouth twitched. Kling recalled scenes with Goku. The Goku of this world is also very popular with girls. Back then Bulma was tempted by him. It's just that Goku didn't get distracted all the time and was cut off by Chichi before Bulma could make a move. Later Goku and Chichi got married out of nowhere. But I still leave home all year round to practice or die for several years, with little scruples about Chichi. The innocent Chichi gradually turned into a bitter woman. When Raditz came and severely injured Goku, Chichi only pays attention to Goen and doesn't care about Goku's injury. Although Lan Chi didn't have that kind of affection for him, she still cared for him very much. Another time, after Klin was killed by Frieza, Klin went to Kiwan Planet and passed the Snake Road. There is a snake Sama who still reads Sunny Goku's name, asking herself about him. Thinking of this, combined with the attitude of number 18, Klin couldn't help but break out in cold sweat. Just now in the ring, after Sunny Goku saved number 18 from the Fit Man, Klin felt something was wrong with number 18. If only this world had the same Goku personality as that world. Number 18 will also like that Goku, right? The world of red light curtains, appearing on the 18th. Will you also like Goku? Colin's scalp began to itch. Vegeta has been green for so long, is it my turn to be the next one? Krillin looked at Goku again, and Goku looked at him. The pure and incomparably clear gaze made Klin heave a sigh of relief. Secretly said, fortunately, the Goku in this world is different. 35 shock, the prototype of Ultra Instinct. The camera turned and returned to the martial arts meeting. The host announced again, the second competition, Klin player vs. Demon second generation player. Soon. Both Grian and Piccolo entered the ring. Master Roshi saw Piccolo and said, This guy is not simple. The corners of Piccolo's lips curved into a smile that only belonged to villains. Little bastard, do it quickly. Clint said angrily, What, little bastard? You bastard, let you taste the fruits of my three years of hard work. I will not hold back. Clint clenched his hands into fists and placed them at his sides. In an instant, two ki blasts burst towards Piccolo. Piccolo said disdainfully, It's really bad. At this speed, do you think I can't avoid it? Piccolo jumped directly into the air with a slight leap. Unexpectedly, Klin waved his hand, and the two kid blasts turned instantly and shot toward Piccolo in the sky. Piccolo suddenly turned around and saw two energy waves. Just as the two kid blasts were about to hit, two rays of light suddenly shot out from his eyes. In an instant, Klin's two kid blasts exploded. A violent explosion has just sounded. Klin had already flashed behind Piccolo and punched Piccolo in the face with his backhand. Piccolo was hit and flew backwards with a groan. Klin rolled a few times and landed directly on the ring, and Piccolo stabilized his figure in the air and was suspended in the air. Piccolo wiped his face and said, Well, it's a little stronger than I thought. Klin snorted coldly, HMPH, don't underestimate me. The two returned to the ring again. Another round of fierce confrontation. Boomer watched the battle between Kling and Piccolo, and there was a look of admiration in his eyes. Goku, that Krillin has also become very powerful. Well, if he could have this level three years ago, team up with Shin Shinhan and you won't be overwhelmed by Piccolo Daimao. Kalin, who was watching the movie, also showed nostalgia for this scene. I worked so hard to catch up with Goku, but now the gap is getting bigger and bigger. Master Roshi comforted, as an earthling, you are already excellent, Krillin. Why smiled? Klin's comprehension is still good, those moves are very good. Hey, I just said I'm pretty good. Beerus, if you say you are fat, you will be out of breath, and you have already lost. Klin was stunned, and randomly looked at the light curtain. I saw that he in that world had already been defeated, lying sprawled on the ground. Three words were murmured in his mouth. I surrender. Klin, number 18 said, I have to say, the martial arts meeting at that time was really interesting. Son Goku, yeah, it's really good to be able to fight with so many people. Number 18, I mean... It's like playing house with a child, Sunny Goku said with a smile, ha 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 ha, yes, it was very difficult for me to win the championship at that time, Why said, you in that red light curtain have far surpassed you in this period, it's really hard to guess what heights he can reach when he reaches your age, maybe he can surpass Lord Beerus, Beerus said disdainfully, cut, it's up to him, let him have one hand, and he will not be my opponent, the light curtain is still playing, the tournament is still going on, Yamka lost to Shin Shin Han, Shin Shin Han lost to Sunny Goku, in the blink of an eye, it was already the finals. The host shouted loudly, the second generation demon player versus the Sunny Goku player. Let's see if Mr. Sun Goku, the three-time consecutive champion, 
can hold on to his title this time. Soon, both Piccolo and Goku stood on the ring. Piccolo stood up and stared at Son Goku, said, You are the only stumbling block for me to conquer the world. In order to defeat you, I have practiced devilishly, just waiting for today, come on. Sonny Goku stood on the ring relaxedly and said, no one in this ring can get me to do a second move right now. Let me give you a piece of advice. You'd better take off the weight. Otherwise, you will regret not using your full strength. Piccolo's eyes flickered. Don't be so self-righteous. You can't imagine my growth in the past three years. With that said, Piccolo stepped hard on the ground and attacked Sunny Goku fiercely. Quick punches were fired at Sunny Goku like a machine gun. Sunny Goku's body swayed slightly, and he dodged Piccolo's attack without missing a beat. The referee loudly explained the game. The second generation player Mo launched a fierce attack and player Sun dodged calmly. It was really exciting. The people watching the movie were all surprised. Sunny Goku's eyes brightened. Grandpa Turtle, is he Ultra Instinct? Master Roshi nodded, it seems so. Wise stared at the screen and said, I didn't expect that he actually relied on his own understanding. You have mastered the prototype of Ultra Instinct. Vegeta said disdainfully, at this level, you can only dodge, it's useless. I still trust my judgment more than letting my body move by itself. Piccolo said, but he will keep growing. If in a few years, he can completely master the Ultra Instinct, no danger can tempt him. Sunny Goku waved his hand and said, Piccolo, that's not what you said either. Ultra Instinct is not that easy to master. My talent should be the same as that of me in that world. I have been practicing with Weiss for so long. It was also this time that the Tournament of Power was forced to play out. Weiss nodded, Goku is right. This Ultra Instinct, comprehension only takes a moment, mainly the tempering of the state of mind, maybe you can understand it in the next second. Maybe you can't understand it in a lifetime. Many gods want to master that kind of skill, and they haven't touched the threshold after practicing for hundreds or thousands of years. So far, many gods have not been able to do it. Sunny Goku nodded, I see, wise. 36 Chichi, I expect that I can marry him. In the blink of an eye, hundreds of punches had passed in the ring, and Sunny Goku was not hit at all. Piccolo immediately took a step back to gain distance. Sunny Goku hadn't moved yet, he was already panting from exhaustion. Sunny Goku asked, why? Don't you plan to use all your strength? I'm going to make a move. Piccolo pulled hard. Both the cloak and hood fell heavily to the ground. In the next moment, Piccolo turned into lightning and rushed towards Sunny Goku. Boom. Before Piccolo could see clearly, Sunny Goku punched him. Piccolo hummed miserably in an instant. His mouth grew wide and his eyes protruded. Convulsed and fell down. Piccolo was in a state of shock. He thought that he was much stronger than his father back then. But he just didn't expect that he still couldn't hold back even one move. At this moment, Piccolo, lying on the ground, deeply realized how powerful Sunny Goku was. Sunny Goku looked at Piccolo on the ground. If you want to defeat me, then continue to practice. Wait until you can defeat me, then consider ruling the world. The referee ends the count in seconds. Piccolo still hadn't gotten to his feet. The referee raised Sunny Goku's arm and said loudly, this tournament, Sunny Goku won again. At the same time, there was loud applause from the stands. Cheers also broke out at this moment. Sunny Goku is amazing. How many times has this been won? Every time I solve the opponent with one move, it's so handsome. In my opinion, Sunny Goku is qualified to be the new martial arts god. Mr. Sunny Goku is amazing. Sun Goku, I love you. Listening to the cheers of the crowd, Sunny Goku seemed to have an illusion. Why do they cheer for themselves in the same tone as calling that evil Satan? Piccolo already had no face here, and soon walked out of the Dokai. Damn it, Sun Goku, I will definitely surpass you. I have only been practicing for three years, but you have been practicing for more than ten years. My talent must be better than yours, and I won't give up. I want you to know that we demons are the strongest existence. After saying that, Piccolo flew into the sky and flew towards the mountain. Sunny Goku ignored the shouts of the audience and went straight into the room to receive the award. After receiving the reward, he immediately returned to Bulma's side. The two walked out holding hands. Bulma, should we go home? Well, go back. Let's go to the hospital for a checkup. Okay, then you can sit in the passenger seat and I'll drive the jet. It's okay. I don't even feel anything in my stomach. It won't affect my jet. Goku caressed Bulma's belly. It's better to be careful. This is the culmination of our hard work for many days. Bulma's face turned red. Okay, then I will listen to you. They completely forgot about Chuchi. Outside the screen, people watching the movie breathed a sigh of relief when they saw that Sun Goku was still easily beating Piccolo. Sunny Goku said excitedly. I was so powerful in that world. Piccolo at the same time was no match at all. Vegeta snorted coldly. Huh. He's not as ink stained as you. He's just warming up for a fight or something. You look at others, and then at you. How much trouble can be saved by directly solving the opponent? Sunny Goku scratched his head awkwardly and said with a smile. Hey, I just enjoy the process of fighting. Vados mocked. Yes, I focus on fighting and don't think much about home. No wonder your daughter-in-law quarrels with you every day. Look at this family. They save time to spend with their wife. This is what they call harmony. Have you ever seen them quarreling? Sunny Goku retorted. That's different. Chichi came before the competition. 
Didn't that quarrel with him? The main reason is that Chichi is more irritable and Bulma is more sensible. That's why they never quarreled. Vados shook his head with a wry smile. Hey, silly boy. I'm too lazy to talk about you, and I can't talk about you. Number 18 looked at the screen with a strange expression. I'm really looking forward to seeing how he handles Chichi now. Colin nodded and said, I'm also looking forward to it when you say that. Who knows if the Chichi in that world would point to Goku's nose and curse every day. Chichi, who was watching the movie, looked anxiously at the screen. Hurry up, why are you dawdling? Your father is really serious, take you back quickly. My dad and I who don't know that world are waiting for you at Bozy Mountain. Red Goku and Bulma's romantic life comes to mind, and the pictures of the honeymoon and the scenic spots in various places are also like a movie, scenes flash through my mind. The gentle treatment, the careful care, and the meticulous care for Bulma all emerged one by one. Knowing that Bulma is pregnant, and knowing how to drive the jet for her. If the Goku of this world is so sensible, why should I quarrel with him? That's the way the world is. Chuchi is looking forward to marrying the heart's warming Goku in that world right now. She wanted to see what it would be like to marry a good man. Is it her problem or Goku's problem? But Chichi thought about it. Something was wrong. He in that world had married Bulma. In that world, I was still an innocent girl, still harboring beautiful fantasies about love. Knowing that he is already married, Will you still marry him? Chuchi has experienced a lot of wind and waves. Knowing that marriage is not love is a hothead. She immediately prayed, please, me in that world, you must not be petty. Can't miss such an excellent Goku, you don't know, even if you share him with Bulma. Also better than marrying this Goku who only knows fighting. I have been guarding the vacant house by myself for decades. Goku doesn't come home every day. I'm alone with Goen and Goten. Do you know how I got here all these years? Please, even if he is Bulma and still marries you, you must agree. It's for your own good too. Please, please. Bulma looked at the screen and fell into deep thought. He also recalled the scene with Goku. If it wasn't Chichi back then, I should be able to train this Goku well. Life is like this. Once you miss it, you can never go back. Bulma looked at the screen with bright eyes and said, I over there, and Goku over there. No matter how you go on, as long as the two of you can be together forever, I support you. The screen image continued to play. When Sunny Goku finished receiving the reward and was about to leave with Bulma, a figure appeared in front of him. Bulma and Goku were taken aback. Dad, why are you here? Burdock smiled faintly. You didn't do it. Did you promise someone something when you were a child? That little girl named Chichi found our home, crying and shouting for you to marry her. Both Bulma and Goku were taken aback. R? She actually came to the door. 37 Bulma, I want to reward you. Marry one more. Seeing the surprised expressions of Goku and Bulma, Burdock has concluded. Goku and Chichi's childhood promise is true. Even Boomer seemed to know it. Burdock patted Goku on the shoulder and said, Kakarot, that's what I told Doc's king and Chichi. Even if I tie you back, I want you to marry Chichi. But it was just my escape plan. In the past few years on Earth, your mother and I have also witnessed you and Bulma's go all the way. In terms of getting along, you are much better than dad. For so many years, from boyfriend and girlfriend to marriage, you have never seen the two of you at odds. Never seen you quarreling. In the past, my mother often blamed my father saying that I am not as sensible as you. In the past few years, Dad has learned from you the way of life on the earth, and it has indeed changed too much. Mom hasn't had an argument with me in years. To be honest, although I am an elder, I am not yet qualified to guide you on what to do. I leave the rest to you. Mom still has Ox King and Chichi at home. Don't keep her waiting too long. Sunny Goku nodded. Bulma, get on the jet first. We'll go to the hospital first, and then go home. Burdock froze and asked, What are you doing in the hospital? Are you injured? Bulma pursed her lips raised her head and said, Dad, Goku and I should have a baby, we need to go to the hospital for a checkup. Burdock's pupils shrank suddenly. Really, I'm going to be a grandfather? Bulma and Goku both nodded. Bulma said, Well, it should be true, just check and confirm. Sunny Goku said, Dad, you go home first, we will be home an hour or two late. Burdock nodded excitedly. Okay, Kakarot, Bulma, don't make things difficult, do everything according to your heart. If anything goes wrong, Dad will be a bad guy and make things right for you. Bulma froze for a moment, saw Burdock's sandbag-sized fist at random, and suddenly realized. Thank you dad. Soon, Sunny Goku drove the jet and brought Bulma to the hospital. In order to save time, Goku directly bought scalper tickets, jumped in line, checked, stuffed red envelopes, and got the results quickly. The whole process was over in less than an hour. The people who watched the movie were surprised. That Goku is pretty good at work. Yeah. I went to the hospital and finished the examination so quickly. It's nice to have money. That depends on who will do it. He can even line up in the hospital. And he knows how to give people red envelopes. This is a man of the world with full marks. Kalin looked at Sunny Goku and said, Goku, you know a lot more about this than you do. Goku scratched his head in embarrassment and smiled, and stopped talking. Chichi watched the series of operations of Red Goku on the screen, and his eyes were red. Chichi sounded years ago, while pregnant with Goten, 
Sunny Goku had a heart attack and took care of him for a few days. Later, in order to defeat Cell, he dragged Gohan, who was still studying, to practice. Let him fight Cell at a young age. Later Goku unfortunately died in battle. Obviously Dragon Ball could revive him, but because he didn't want to bring danger to the Earth, he didn't revive. The Earth is in no danger. But she carried it all. She is a girl, taking care of Gohan while making money, also from pregnancy, maternity examination, childbirth, confinement childcare. Sunny Goku also has no parents, no one can help her, a series of things are done by her alone. Later, with the help of Ox King, Goten was pulled up abruptly. This kind of life lasted for seven years. As Goku himself, he doesn't know what to miss. Chuchi had no choice but to trim Goten's hairstyle to look like Goku's, to relieve his missing. Goku was not revived until the day before Majin Buu appeared, but Goku's resurrection is not to reunite with his family, just to participate in the world's number one martial arts meeting. That time, Chuchi just broke his bottom line and let both son Goten and Goen go to the Tokai. Try to earn some money to subsidize the family. Goku is not sensible, Chuchi is younger than Bulma. In order to run the house, within a few years, he was actually much older than Bulma. In contrast to the Goku on the screen, taking such considerate care of Bulma is simply a model boyfriend and a model husband. He also used the Dragon Ball to revive his parents, and he is a model son. Chuchi held on to the money in his hand, and said angrily, I'm so mad, there is no harm without comparison. Why is my Goku like this? My heart hurts so much. Woo woo woo. In the red light curtain, the picture is still playing continuously. Sunny Goku has finished the inspection with Bulma, and is driving the jet on the way to Bozy Mountain. Bulma seemed to see that Goku was worried. She touched her stomach, rested her head on Goku's shoulder, and said softly, Goku, this isn't your fault either. When I saw you were still young, I never thought about that. I have witnessed with my own eyes that you promised Chichi to marry her in the future. Later, I found that you were more like my ideal boyfriend, and I fell in love with you. I just asked you to be my boyfriend outright. Don't talk about you. Even I completely forgot about her. Unexpectedly, so many years have passed in a flash. We are both married and have a baby. I didn't expect her to be so persistent at such a young age. Now that he has grown up, he has found a home. Since I was the one who started late, leave it to me to go back. Sunny Goku looked at Bulma curiously and asked, you mean? A blush appeared on Bulma's face. Shyly said, now that I have a baby, I won't be able to do anything shy with you for at least a year. That Chichi is also very good looking. In view of your good performance these years, I decided to reward you and let you marry one more. But, no but, no one can change what I decide. However, how should I explain to your parents? Bulma covered Goku's mouth. I've said it all, no one can change what I decide. My parents, I'll go and tell them. 38 five years later, say I in game. Soon. Goku and Bulma return to Bun Mountain. Giant doesn't seem to be able to handle Chichi and Ox King either. Bulma pulled Chichi into the room. After half an hour, Chichi walked out of the room with Bulma shyly. Bulma quietly made an okay gesture to Goku, Giant and others. Chichi walked towards Ox King and said, Dad, I want to marry Goku, let's do the marriage tomorrow. Ox King looked at Chichi and asked, Chichi, then is Goku going to divorce Bulma? Will there be time tomorrow? Chichi shook his head and said, They won't divorce, I will marry him directly. Ox King frowned, said, Chichi. How can you do this? This is against the rules. Dad, Goku and Bulma grew up as childhood sweethearts. Now, Bulma is pregnant with Goku's child. If Goku dumped Bulma in order to marry me, wouldn't that be abandoning his wife and son? Is such a person worth my liking for so long? Ox King choked. It seems that what Chichi said makes sense. The screen changed to the wedding hall. Both Sunny Goku and Chichi donned wedding dresses. Under the snow white scarf, Chichi's smile was as bright as a flower. After the lively wedding ceremony, Chuchi and Goku walked into the hall of couples. The Brives watched Goku marry another without any displeasure. Mrs. Brives' eyes were still narrowed into two crescents, and she happily gave them red envelopes to bless them. Jain and Burdock took the high seat once again. Chuchi offered them tea, and they gave Chuchi red envelopes. Ox King smiled foolishly, a little from ear to ear. The people who watched the movie also showed envy. The light in their eyes is a blessing. As for Goku being a scumbag, not even one. That Goku seemed to do everything, but actually did nothing. He just treats Bulma wholeheartedly. Whether it is treating his family, his girlfriend, or his wife who is already married to him, he is the same as always, never changed. That Boomer is very smart. Such a good man shouldn't be thrown at him. It is enough for him to be happy. There is nothing wrong with such an outstanding man marrying two beauties. Since then, there has been one less bitter woman in the world, and one more happy woman in the world. Everyone began to look forward to his new life. Especially Chichi who watched the movie. She really wanted to see how wonderful her life in that world would be if she married that perfect Goku. The screen continued to play, fast forwarding. At this moment, Chichi on the screen is still an innocent girl, still retaining the longing for love, often proactively hug Goku. That Goku did not disappoint her. Treat her with the same kindness as Boomer. Whenever and wherever, 
As long as she threw herself into Goku's arms, Goku never pushed her away, catered to her every time. No matter at home, or in the suburbs, or on the street full of people, they are unscrupulous and don't care about other people's eyes. Doing their loving little Mandarin ducks, even Bulma helped Goku take care of Chichi. Bulma was alone in front of Goku, his young daughter-in-law, in front of Chichi and Goku. She looks like their big sister. Since then, there has been a group of three people sitting in the cinema, in the romantic morning light and the gentle sea of flowers. There is an innocent little princess. Time flies, time flies. Scenes flashed quickly. Goku and the sweet life of the two are unfolding scene by scene. Soon, Bulma's belly grew bigger. After a few frames, Chichi's belly grew bigger too. What has never changed is the smiles on their faces, which are as bright as before. Sunny Goku also started to practice hard. Do push-ups in the 50-fold gravity chamber. Rivalry with Burdock at Bun Mountain. Soon. Two beautiful little princesses were born one after another. Then Jain took care of Buma who was in confinement, and Chichi who took care of confinement. Goku helps his daughter wash diapers. Several subtitles appeared on the screen. Five years later, the picture changed suddenly, and came to a green grassland. The sky is blue and wild, and the wind blows the grass and the cattle and sheep are low. Two small figures ran wantonly on the grassland. Burdock and Jain lay on the soft green grass looking at the two little girls next to them from time to time. Both little girls are very beautiful. They all wore beautiful princess dresses and played hide and seek in the grass almost as tall as they were. A little black haired girl with twin ponytails ran and shouted, Sister, come and catch me. A little blue haired girl with a tall ponytail covered her eyes and shouted, 1987. After a while, the two little girls laughed like silver bells. The eldest is Bummer and Goku's child, named Sunmi, who is four years old. The youngest is the child of Chichi and Goku, named Santong who is three and a half years old. Goku dozed off on a small dirt slope. Bulma and Chichi spread a huge cloth on the grass. A variety of delicacies are arranged. A wide variety of delicacies. There is a fire next to it, and there are actually two roasted whole sheep on it. From time to time, Bulma sprinkled the roast lamb with seasoning. The fragrance wafts over the entire grassland. After a while, Chichi shouted not far away, Tong Tong, Mimi, it's time to eat. Mom and Dad, you are coming to eat too. Come on. After shouting, Sun Tong, Sun Mi, Goku, Burdock and Jain all came. Chichi's craftsmanship is getting better and better. Chichi smiled and said, It's all taught by Sister Bulma. Come and try it. I made this. Okay. Goku took down the roasted whole lamb, put away the knife, and quickly cut the lamb leg. After a while, several plates were cut out. First set, Give us gentle Bulma. Second plate, Beautiful Chichi for us. The third set is for our lovely princess Mimi. The fourth set is for our naughty little princess Tong Tong. Disc 5, To our goddess Jain. The whole remaining sheep belongs to me. Ha 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 ha, Sun Mi said, Dad, you haven't given it to Grandpa yet. Burdock directly picked up another roast whole lamb. Grandpa eats this whole one. Yeah, we all have meat to eat. Just when a few people were enjoying their meal, a stream of light landed on the grass. Burdock looked at the round aircraft and his pupils suddenly shrank. Goku, Jain, suppress the aura quickly, it's Freezer's army's flying machine. 39 quiz, shocked Raditz. Suddenly, the light curtain stopped. Prize quiz starts, question mark. What is the fate of Raditz? Note, Raditz is the eldest son of Burdock and Jain, is the elder brother of Sun Goku, Kakarot. Currently in Vegeta's team, conquer the universe for Freezer and resell planets. Question mark. A. Build. Question mark. B. I was beaten and let go. Question mark. C. Father and son recognize each other, brothers recognize each other, stay on Earth. Question mark. D. Join Raditz's Vegeta team and leave the Earth. Question mark. The people watching the movie were stunned for a moment. Topo, the guy in the aircraft is actually Son Goku's brother. Will there be another fight? Dispo, how to answer this kind of question? Last time it was Raditz who picked on him, and he was killed by Sunny Goku. This time his parents are here, will he dare to make a mistake? Jiren frowned and said, the reason for the fight is that Raditz has been at odds with that Red Goku since he was a child. Vados, did you pick up this Raditz? Why does it feel like this option is not kind to him? Sunny Goku said, no. He is indeed my brother. Vermut. Have you all forgotten? When the blue screen was played before, Sunny Goku and his brother died together. His brother seems to be cruel Saiyan. Everyone suddenly realized, oh, that's right. After watching Goku Goku's happy life for so long, I've forgotten about it. Saiyan itself is supposed to be a brutal race. As for Sunny Goku and his parents, they are rare kind-hearted people. It seems that his brother is not a good person. Mark Harita, the world is obviously different. Raditz's parents, Burdock and Jain, were both there. So it must have been a family reunion. The hard part is where to go next. Stay on Earth, or join the expedition team. All the Gokus in our world died together with Raditz, and there is no reference value anymore. Therefore, the correct answer should be to exclude Ab. I choose D. Kessie looked at Mark Harita curiously. Why choose D? They are all good people and they can't go out to fight. 
right? Mark Harrita giggled and said, of course, I have my idea, so I'll keep it a secret for the time being. Cassie, you got all the answers right last time, so I'll choose the same one as you, and I'll choose D2. Mark Harrita, hey, smart, Quincy, I think they will stay on the earth. Brothers are of the same mind, and their sharpness can defeat gold. What's more, they are a family working together, and they are as powerful as gold. So, I choose C. Vegeta, Saiyan has a problem. He relies too much on detectors. So when Raditz got off the spacecraft, the detector must have been on. All it takes is a few words. Nappa and I in that world should also know that Burdock is still alive. I have known since I was a child that although Burdock is a low-level soldier, but the combat effectiveness has reached more than 10,000. He is truly a rare warrior. I'll definitely have Raditz persuade them to leave Earth and join my team. However, Raditz is just their son and may not be able to persuade his parents. Therefore, I chose to stay on Earth and wait for Nappa and I to come to Earth. I choose C. Krillin. Vegeta's analysis is so correct. Then I will choose the same as Vegeta. I will also choose C. Sun Goen said with a sad face. I don't care about any of this. What I care about is, there is no more existence for me in the other world. Piccolo patted Goen and said, don't be sad, Goen. On your planet, the probability of having children of both sexes is the same. Maybe the next child will be a boy and he should be named Sun Goen. Sun Goen, I hope so. By the way, Uncle Piccolo, what do you choose for this question? Piccolo shook his head. There are too many unstable factors, so I choose to give up. Go and nodded. That's right. I also choose to give up. Son Goku, that guy Raditz is a big bad guy. I will definitely not invade the planet with him. But since his parents are here, they will definitely not kill him. They will most likely beat him away. So, I choose B. Freezer. Oh ho 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 ho. That's really interesting. Obviously they are a family, but Raditz has endured so much criticism. Their relationship as brothers seems to be similar to my relationship with Kula. In my opinion, we should beat him away. I choose B. Chuchi, Bummer, and others looked at this problem and it really burned the CPU, so they all chose to give up. The light curtain continued to play. The aircraft landed on the ground and blew up a large cloud of smoke. The smoke cleared, and a long-haired man stepped out of the aircraft. He has a detector on his face. None other than Son Goku's older brother. Raditz. As soon as he exited the hatch, he began to scan the surroundings. Diddy, the detector went off. Raditz's lips curved into a superior smile. This planet is so weak, they are just scum with a combat power of only five. Um? There was actually the energy reaction of a guy over 400 years old in the distance. Could it be? That's Kakarot. What a loser. He only has more than 400 combat power. If he doesn't train, it's not as cost effective as being a cultivator. At this moment, Two figures flashed and appeared in front of Raditz. Raditz was about to speak when he was suddenly startled. The two people in front of him were clearly his parents. Dad, Mom, how is it possible? Aren't you dead? Jain's eyes began to tremble. Raditz, my child, Kakarot is right, you are not dead. Saying that, Jain couldn't help but rush over. She looked up at Raditz and said in surprise, I didn't expect Raditz to be taller than Mom. Raditz also looked at Jain in disbelief and asked, Mom, are you not dead? How are you on Earth? Jain raised her head and said, because there are seven dragon balls on the earth, as long as we gather them together, any wish can come true. Kakarot found the dragon ball and revived us. Boom. It was like a thunderbolt struck Raditz's mind. Dragon ball. Resurrection. Forty stay away. Let's talk to your brother. Suddenly, Burdock realized something. Raditz has a detector on his face, and that thing can record remotely. Burdock yelled hastily. Raditz, turn off the detector now. Raditz still needs to listen to Burdock's words. However, he just swept Burdock and Giant's combat power. There were only five. There are still a few signs of life around, and the combat power is even only two three. In his memory, his father once led a Saiyan squad. His combat power should be no less than ten thousand. Why are there only five now? Although his mother was just an ordinary Saiyan, he remembered, my mother's fighting ability was much stronger back then than it is now. Now it has actually dropped to five. Could it be that people who are resurrected through the Dragon Ball will lose their power? Also, the gravity of this planet is too weak. If you don't exercise all year round, your body weight will also drop a lot. Moreover, this drop is too outrageous. Seeing that Raditz didn't turn off the detector, he was in a daze. Burdock said hastily, Raditz, what are you doing? Turn off the detector. Raditz didn't protest and immediately turned off the detector. Seeing his parents resurrected, he thought he could get new helpers. But seeing the parents who have become ordinary people is very disappointing. Even in front of his father, who has become an ordinary person, there is an inadvertent sense of superiority in his eyes. Giant said, Raditz, this earth is beautiful. There is no need to fight and life is very rich. We have lived here for several years. You also stay and live a normal life with us. Stop working for Freezer. You see, your younger brother got married and had children here. So far, he has given birth to two daughters. Look how cute they are. The mention of Sunny Goku's two daughters brought a happy smile to Jain's face. With that said, Jain waved towards Sun Mi and Sun Tong. Tong Tong, Mimi, come here. While talking, 
The two little girls ran over bouncing around. However, two small children saw Raditz. The man was tall and tall, at least two meters tall. He had a fierce look on his face, and he was a little scared. Sunny Goku also came over, and the two little girls hid beside Sunny Goku. Raditz said bluntly, marrying a wife and having children is something only weak people do, and I have no interest in these. By the way, is the Dragon Ball you mentioned still there? How do I collect it? Giant said, what do you collect that for? Do you have any wishes? Raditz's A's showed an evil smile. Of course I want to make a wish. Can you help me find all the Dragon Balls? Giant said, your sister-in-law Bulma has a Dragon Ball radar and can quickly find the Dragon Ball. Raditz looked at Sun Goku. His eyes suddenly turned cold. Just now he detected Sun Goku's combat power, which was only in single digits. I saw him coming with a calm face and coaxing the two little girls beside him. He didn't look like a warrior at all. He was clearly just a farmer with two children. Raditz said angrily, Kakarot. When you came to this planet, not only did you fail to occupy this planet, he is still married and has children on this planet. After so many years of neglect, the combat power is only five, and they have become useless. You really disgrace us Saiyan, you loser. Jain heard Raditz say Goku's not. He immediately scolded, Raditz, don't talk to your brother like that. Raditz didn't care about Jain scolding at all, and immediately snorted coldly, HMPH, I didn't expect that we've grown up, but you two still prefer him. Today, I have become an excellent fighter. You have all become ordinary people, and you have no right to control me. Reduced to an ordinary person, I don't have the right to control you. Both Giant and Burdock froze for a moment, and their expressions became strange. Raditz disdainfully said, Your combat strength is only five. What are you not ordinary people? Then Giant and Burdock both thought of something. A few years ago, I mastered breath perception, and just lowered the breath again. Sure enough, the detector couldn't detect it at all. Keeping the breath has lasted for five years and there has been no specific value. Now they have almost forgotten about it. Jain immediately tried to refute Raditz, but was stopped by Burdock shaking his head. It seems to want to see what kind of tricks he is playing. Sunny Goku asked, what are you doing here? Raditz smiled and said, originally, we were going to attack a planet, and we needed a helper. I just remembered you, so I came to pick you up. But now you only have so much combat power, so forget it. You are not worthy to be a Saiyan warrior. However, there is a new discovery. There is such a magical thing as the Dragon Ball here. You're kind of useful. You can help me collect Dragon Balls. Raditz's voice was loud, scaring the two little girls even more. Sunny Goku immediately picked up the two daughters. Mimi, Tong Tong, don't be afraid, Dad is here. Then Sunny Goku looked at Raditz. Sorry, I still have to take care of my daughter. I don't have time to help you find the Dragon Ball, so you have to find it yourself. Kakarot, don't he think that because my mother is here, I won't he dare to touch you. Living on this remote small planet all year round, you are all degenerate and have no trace of Saiyan anymore. When I find the Dragon Ball, I will destroy this planet and they'll make you unable to live in peace. Snapped. You traitor, how dare you. Giant slapped Raditz directly. Raditz, who didn't react, was stunned, and there was a slap mark on his face, which was burning. Raditz looked at Giant in disbelief. You, how dare you hit me. You haven't hit me since I was a kid. We haven't seen each other for so many years, and you hit me when we met. Giant said angrily, it is natural for parents to beat their sons. You are so ignorant now. Why should I hit you? Raditz shouted coldly, if that's the case, then don't blame your son for being unfilial. Judging from his posture, he seemed to be shaking his fist at Jain. Burdock shook his head sadly and looked at Goku and his two little granddaughters. Kakarot, take the children to play somewhere far away for a while, your mom and I need to have a talk with your brother. Sunny Goku nodded, okay, Tong Tong, Mimi, let's go play with mom. Okay, 41 mixed doubles, Vegeta set off. Sunny Goku left here holding his two children. Just arrived at Bummer and Chuchi. Raditz's scream suddenly came from over there. The screams were so pitiful that they could still be heard in the vast grassland. Both Bummer and Chuchi had doubts on their faces. The two children were also shocked. Tong Tong asked curiously, Mom, Dad, Grandparents, what are they doing? Sunny Goku touched Tong Tong's head and said, Grandpa's eldest son is disobedient and has done bad things. Grandpa and Grandma are educating him. Tong Tong and Mimi were shocked. Mom and Dad, we all obey, don't hit us. Chichi and Bummer couldn't help but laugh. Chichi smiled and said, Well, Tong Tong and Mimi are both well behaved. You are so obedient and sensible, so you won't be beaten. Burdock scolded Raditz while beating him. You could, ever since Planet Vegeta exploded, after we are gone, you will have no one to discipline you since you were a child. I didn't expect that you would become so evil destroying the planet at every turn. Today I want you to experience what a father's love is like! Exclamation mark. With that said, he went up to him with a fat beating. After a while, Jain also moved her joints, said, the child's father, don't beat him to death, just rest and let me do it. After a while, 
Raditz was beaten until his nose was bruised and his face was swollen, and his muscles and bones were broken. It was as if this son was not their biological son. It was like beating up a hateful thief. Suddenly, Raditz passes out and Giant stops. The child's father, feed him some fairy bins quickly and let him recover. With that said, Burdock fed Raditz a fairy bin. In just a moment, Raditz's injuries healed. While he was surprised, Burdock moved his joints again. He took out the Sept Wolves belt Bulma bought for him and said to Giant, My dear, you're tired. It's time for you to take a rest. Let me do it. Ah! The screams filled the sky again. The moviegoers watched a wonderful mixed male and female doubles match. Afraid of beating him to death. He actually used fairy bins to revive him at any time. Even if it doesn't work after recovery, I still have to fight. When he got tired of beating him. He actually beat him one round at a time. Everyone felt shuddering. Piccolo. They seemed to have hit him hard. But with the fairy bins at the ready, it seems like they can rule out killing him. Sunny Goku said, Yes, there are parents who don't love their children, and they will definitely not kill them. Clint frowned and said, It could be B. Beat him up and drive him away. Number 17. But, does this still count as beating him once and then blasting him away? It's obvious that he was beaten many times. Number 18. Not necessarily. If he realizes his mistake, he will be beaten. After a lesson, he became obedient and did whatever his parents asked him to do. Maybe he will stay on Earth. In other words, in order not to affect the safety of the earth, they, you can discuss a countermeasure and pretend to join Vegeta's team for other purposes. Weiss said, well, number 18's analysis makes sense. Topo, mum's hobbies are heavy. Look at Raditz's face with tears of happiness. Dispo, only mother is good in the world. You see, his mother is obviously much gentler. Vegeta, I think they beat Raditz for his own good. Several people around were stunned. Go and asked, Uncle Vegeta, why do you say that? Vegeta, Sanzu is a magical thing and it's a perfect match with Arceion's incredible talent. Have you forgotten? Arceion, only after being on the verge of death, recover again, will have a terrifying increase in combat effectiveness. I remember that when Raditz arrived on Earth, his combat power was only 1560. You can see that he was beaten so hard that his whole body was about to fall apart. This was obviously a serious injury. Beating him a few times will definitely improve his strength. Vados, so, they are here for Raditz. Vegeta nodded. Exactly. Gohan suddenly realized, so, we have reached our limit a long time ago. I have already forgotten about this kind of thing. I finally understood what the grandfather of that world meant when he said that father's love is like a mountain. Master Roshi, looking at it now, we can't see the results yet, so I am worried. Shin Shin Hun, do you think it's possible that Goku secretly killed Raditz? Everyone was shocked when they heard Shin Shin Hun's words. It seems possible. Under the loving care of her parents, Raditz's screams continued for a long time. The scene turned to a planet that had just been occupied. The detector that Vegeta is looking at, Nappa is eating. Suddenly, Vegeta noticed the voice coming from Raditz's detector, and his pupils suddenly shrank. Burdock and Jain are actually resurrected, and there is such a magical thing as the Dragon Ball on the Earth. Nappa took a bite of the food, turned around and asked curiously, Vegeta, what are you talking about? There is something called Dragon Ball on Earth. If you collect seven Dragon Balls, you can make any wish. Nappa was stunned. Dragon Ball, is there really such a thing? Vegeta nodded, that seems to be a wishing ball made by the Namekians. I thought it was a legend. The Raditz detector is shut down. What should we do? Go to Earth? Vegeta said, any wish can come true, so how about letting us live forever and be young forever? This way you can enjoy fighting forever. That's it, great, let's go. The screen flashed again. The two circular aircraft flew rapidly towards the Earth. 42 Red Goku's combat power exploded, in the red light curtain. The screen turned. Goku walked up to Raditz, who was beaten half to death, removed Raditz's combat probe. Burdock was taken aback, and hurriedly said, Kakarot, don't mess with this thing. Sunny Goku nodded and said, I understand, contacting other combat power detectors, when it is turned on, you can hear the sound, which is easy to reveal the secrets of the earth. Burdock exhaled and said, so you know. However, when Raditz comes, this thing is turned on, as expected. The secret of our Earth Dragon Ball should have been revealed. I'll take it to Bulma to modify it. This thing will be useful to us in the future. Jain asked curiously. Bulma is so powerful. Can he even transform this? Well, she's a mechanical genius. Transforming this thing is a piece of cake. Even she can make a few. Jain laughed and said. Oh, that's really good. It turns out that Bulma is so capable. Sunny Goku said. Mom and Dad, you are busy. The children are tired from playing. I should take them away. Well, then you go. We have to be busy for a while. Ever since, Goku drove a big plane. He returned to Xida with Bulma, Chuchi and two children. Chuchi is responsible for taking care of the two children. After they are settled, Goku and Bulma came to the laboratory and began to modify the detector. Of course, Goku can only play as a starter, mainly by Bulma. Sunny Goku is mainly to remind her to cut off the external contact, and other functions will not be changed. Raditz is here, and Vegetu is a year away. Some preparation is required. Goku needs to have a clear idea of 
his combat power right now, whether it is Raditz, or Vegeta. None of this is a problem for Sunny Goku in the red light curtain. The problem is that Frieza's business can't be delayed. Red Goku has no system since he was reincarnated. Without a golden finger, he can only rely on his foresight to improve his strength. Must be on the way to Namek, can cultivate to the state of transforming into Super Saiyan. For this day, Sunny Goku has been practicing. However, compared to the original Goku, his growth is much stronger than that of the same period. But much smoother. He didn't experience a life and death duel and he didn't fight like the original Goku. Although there is a fairy bean, there is no one time to brush the bug to increase the combat effectiveness. He had a vague premonition that if he risked his life to improve his strength, it may not be the strength that improves, but the untimely death. He speculates that the reason why Sunny Goku died of a viral heart attack, there is a probability that it is because of drinking super holy water. The greater probability is because he has too many Krypton lives. Since I was a child, I have always fought with my life, especially after Bulma's gave birth to a daughter five years ago. Sunny Goku realizes that he may be more difficult than the original road. There are no trunks in this world, girls are not as brave as boys. In case I am really sick, no one will give me special medicine when I get sick. If you have to go through a heart attack, that should at least delay the heart attack, at least until after the defeat of Majin Buu was born. As long as he is not dead, Majin Buu's magic can heal any injury, any disease. Weiss can also cure any disease. But Beerus didn't wake up, and Weiss probably won't leave Beerus. You can only rely on yourself in everything and you will feel less sick if you are in a good mood. This is why he has enjoyed life and paid attention to health preservation these years. Soon, the night passed. Boomer has completely remodeled the detector. She stretched her waist and said, this technology is really advanced enough, it can be regarded as a great success. Let me see the specific function of the combat power detector. Saying that, Bulma walked out of the laboratory and came to the living room. Chuchi and Goku are here. Bulma said, Goku. Come here and let me see how much combat power you have. Sunny Goku walked over to Bulma. While debugging, Bulma said, I converted it into our text. Goku's combat power is... 5? Hey, how is it possible? Chichi asked curiously. Then what is my fighting power? Bulma turned the probe on Chichi again. Chichi's combat power is 25. Chichi was stunned. Something went wrong. How can I be more powerful than Goku? Bulma frowned. Could it be that I broke it? It shouldn't be. Sunny Goku immediately said, Bulma, come outside and test it for me. I suppressed my breath, this thing can't be tested. Soon, the three of them walked outside. Sunny Goku raised his breath. Diddity, diddity. Bulma pressed the detector, and the value of the detector was constantly flashing. 50,000, 100,000, 150,000, 200,000. Boom. Suddenly, the detector smoked. Watching the movie, Vegeta gasped. Surprised, the Kakarot in that world actually has more than 200,000 combat power on Earth. At that time, apart from Freezer, there were almost no opponents. Sunny Goku was also surprised and said, he can actually cultivate to a combat power of more than 200,000 on the earth, really amazing. Kling, 200,000 is not his limit, but the detector's limit. Presumably, he is one step away from transforming into Super Saiyan. Freezer clenched his fists tightly, this stinky monkey has already cultivated to such a degree. If he can master the Super Saiyan transformation, I may be in bad luck in that world. Freezer clearly remembered that after Saiyan surpassed 200,000 combat power, the promotion was even faster. Back then, on Namek, after Sunny Goku came back from the brink of death twice, his combat power reached 30 million. It's actually 3 million. But Goku Tournament of Power didn't use Kaioken less. Freezer naturally knew his move. Although the Red Goku doesn't know how to Kaioken, but once transformed into Super Saiyan, his combat power can increase countless times. Directly surpassed myself at the peak state of that period. 43 Kicking Raided Soft Earth. Regarding Goku's strength. Kling should be the clearest all the time. In this world, when facing Raditz, Goku's combat strength was only a few hundred. When Kai Wangxing returned, his combat strength reached 8,000. Combined with twice the Kaioken, it is possible to arm wrestle with Vegeta, who has 18,000 combat power. Forced to open the Kaioken three times, scaring Vegeta into a gorilla. But Goku on screen is obviously a bit out of line. It's just that when Raditz came, his combat power had already exceeded 200,000. When Vegeta comes, beating him is like crushing an ant. Kalin said, according to Goku's combat power in the red light curtain, as long as he can transform into Super Saiyan, a year later, he set foot on Namek, and he could easily defeat Freezer. I just hope he doesn't wait for me in that time and space to die before transforming. Kalin still has lingering fears when he thinks of the scene of being crushed by Freezer. Vegeta said disdainfully, in this period of the Earth, there are such heaven-defying things as fairy beans, which will not be used. If I were on Earth, I would definitely be stronger than him. Sunny Goku looked at Vegeta and said, Vegeta, you are not bad now. Vegeta snorted coldly, and continued to look at the light curtain. Seeing this scene, other universes were not moved much. There is no such thing as a combat power detector in other universes. Numerical values? 
have no concept for them. The light curtain continued to play. Boomer immediately dropped the probe. Oops, I've been busy transforming things all night, and it's broken. Sunny Goku had a smile on his face. Okay Bulma, it's fine, it's already used up, it doesn't matter if you throw it away. Bulma said, however, your specific combat power has not been tested yet. Sunny Goku said with a smile. Didn't you jump to 200,000 just now? That's enough. Bulma picked up the broken detector on the ground and said, Well, I'll fix it again and see if I can increase the perception value a little bit. Sunny Goku nodded, All right, that's up to you. I have something to do. I will go to Bozy Mountain. Well, then you go. After speaking, Goku left. On Bozy Mountain, both Burdock and Jain have lost control of Raiditz. They've been teaching Raiditz for a day. But this guy seems to know that he won't kill him, but he has nothing to fear. After all, he is his own son so he really can't kill him. Originally, Raditz was not dead and could come to Earth. The two of them were very happy to be reunited as a family. But after seeing his character, the two knew they were wrong. He learned bad from Vegeta since he was a child. The whole body carries the imperialist aggressive thinking of Frieza's army. There is nothing else in mind, just plunder, aggression, and reselling planets. Today's Raditz has long lost his humanity. It's the complete opposite of what people on Earth think. Both Burdock and Giant think clearly, with his personality, if Kakarot didn't revive them both, Without the two of them in the middle, when he comes, he will inevitably kill brothers. The two of them didn't want him to be abolished, and they were worried about what he would do to the earth. He was also worried that Goku would be killed by him, so he was driven out of the earth. People outside the light curtain were a little excited when they saw this scene. Look, Raditz was beaten and kicked out. I guess I guessed it right. However, the light curtain is still playing. This should be a reversal, right? Um, that's right. Let the bullets fly a little longer. As soon as the screen changed, Goku arrived at Bozy Mountain. Jain saw Goku coming, and asked curiously, Hey, Kakarot, why did you come by yourself? Aren't Bulma and Shichi here? Sunny Goku looked around, but did not see Raditz. Asked, No, they are looking after the children at home. By the way, what about Raditz? Jain sighed and said, He's gone. Sunny Goku didn't think much of it either. Goku is now a parent and understands the psychology of being a parent. If Raditz wasn't a thing, it wouldn't kill him. Mom, Sit down and talk. I have something to tell you. It was the first time that Burdock and Jain saw Sunny Goku so solemn, and they all sat down on the sofa. Kakarot, what's the matter? So serious? Sunny Goku said, Raditz's detector came with it on. Must have conveyed their message to Vegeta. They know that you are resurrected, that the Earth has Shenaron. Definitely on the way. As expected, they're still a year away. Burdock nodded. I've thought about that. But you and I have not lost our practice, even if Vegeta is our enemy. I don't worry about him either. Burdock then patted Goku on the shoulder and said, Goku, although Raditz's personality has been twisted, he is your brother after all. I don't want you to turn against each other. On the bright side, he can think of you, and come so far to pull you into the group. I must still have you in my heart. Sunny Goku said, Dad, I get it, since he's gone, don't mention him. Plus, I didn't take Vegeta seriously at all. I said one year later, we have to face the common enemy of our Saiyan. What enemy? Burdock froze for a moment. Frieza, 44 Raditz is dying again. Hearing the name Frieza, Burdock and Jain were taken aback. Jain was surprised. Kakarot, what are you talking about? You want to challenge Frieza? Are you crazy? Do you know how many thousands of combat power he has? At present, he is not in existence that we can contend with. Burdock also said, Frieza's real combat strength is not 530,000. He can still transform. Kakarot, I know you have improved a lot these years, but don't be complacent. Sunny Goku shook his head and said, I'm not complacent. If we don't look for him, he will look for us. Some things cannot be avoided. He must have known about the existence of the Earth. It's just that the distance is far, and I'm too lazy to come here for the time being. But he will not let the Earth go. The threat to Earth is to Frieza. It's like a canteen with a growing business compared with Papama. However, since he knows that there are Saiyans on the Earth, if he doesn't come later, he may send people to destroy the Earth. At that time, it would not be good to put the flames of war on the Earth. Sunny Goku took out a universal capsule and said, Here's the gravity chamber I asked Boomer to make, and some jelly beans. This year, we must improve our strength as much as possible. Only transformed into Super Saiyan can fight him. Burdock's pupils twinkled. Super Saiyan, that is a genius that can only be born once in a thousand years. Is it possible? A small smile played on Goku's mouth. We have lived peacefully on the Earth for so many years. Presumably, the basic conditions for transformation have already been met. Extreme anger, or concentrated gas on the back. It's all the trick to become a Super Saiyan. But our current strength is not enough to support transformation. So, keep practicing. Both Burdock and Giant froze. After the confession, Sunny Goku left. The screen flashes, Xidu. Boomer is still working on the damaged detector. Suddenly Chichi screamed from outside the room. Bummer was shocked and ran out immediately. I saw the guy who rode the aircraft came to the yard yesterday. He also carried two children in his hands. Chichi shouted nervously from the side. 
You bastard, let go of my child. The two children cried and shouted, Mom, Mom. Bulma was furious, You scoundrel, what are you doing here? Put down my child. Raditz smiled evilly. Don't worry, I won't kill the two children. What are you going to do? You are Bulma, right? Help me collect seven dragon balls, and when you find them, the child will return them to you. Bulma's heart moved, and he immediately said, It's just helping you with the dragon ball. I'll help you find it. You put down my child first. Raditz snorted coldly. Do you think I'm a fool? Yesterday Kakarot rejected me outright. Once I leave, you will go to Bozy Mountain for help. Don't worry, these two wild girls are my eldest nieces after all. I will take good care of it. Dot. Not allowed to notify Burdock, or you'll never see either of them again. Plus, you're only given three days to find the Dragon Ball. After three days, whether the two of them can survive is another question. After speaking, Raditz flew into the sky with the two children in his arms turned into a streamer and flew away with a whoosh. Originally, Sunny Goku was still flying on the way home. Immediately after approaching the western capital, I noticed Raditz's breath. This product will not suppress the combat power, it is as dazzling as a light bulb. Sunny Goku frowned, didn't you drive him away, why is he still on earth? Worried about this guy causing damage to the earth, Sunny Goku chased after the breath. However, when Sunny Goku saw that Raditz was carrying Sun Mi and Sun Tong, his eyes lit up with murderous intent. Angrily said, this bastard, isn't it enough to get beaten? Sunny Goku was worried about hurting the child, so he lowered his breath and followed secretly. After a while, Raditz locked the two little girls into the aircraft. Just as he was about to hunt for something to eat, Sunny Goku's figure stood in front of him in a flash. Raditz, didn't you go away? What are you doing kidnapping my daughter? Seeing Sun Goku, Raditz was taken aback and took two steps back visibly. Dad, I... However, after carefully observing his face and temperament, he stopped again. Scare me. I thought it was Burdock. Kakarot, now that you have no one to back you up, you don't think I'm afraid of you, do you? Sunny Goku's eyes turned cold, and he asked, You haven't answered me yet, what are you doing kidnapping my daughter? What? Who made you disobedient yesterday? Now, hurry up and help me find the Dragon Ball with your Boomer. Within three days, find all the Dragon Balls and bring them to me, and I wish for immortality. Naturally, my two eldest nieces will be released. Indifference flashed in Sunny Goku's eyes, I will never change my nature. Raditz sneered. It wasn't for nothing that I got so many beatings yesterday. I have the noble blood of Saiyan, and my fighting power is much higher than yesterday. Although not yet Burdock's opponent, you will be easily defeated. After speaking, Raditz rushed to Sunny Goku. He kicked up hard. However, a kick hit Sun Goku, and Sunny Goku remained motionless. On the contrary, it made Raditz's painful leg numb. The next moment, Sunny Goku moved. He slashed Raditz's back with a knife. In an instant, Raditz was smashed down, smashing a big hole in the ground. Before he could react from the bewilderment, Sunny Goku's big foot had already stepped on his face. The energy bullets have gathered in his hand, pointing at his heart. You don't change your nature, you really deserve to die. 45 Raditz's bones are gone, Vegeta descends to earth. With Sunny Goku's move, Raditz woke up from a dream. Kakarot's combat prowess is not inferior to Burdock's. He panicked. He hurriedly begged for mercy. Kakarot, I have never thought of killing your family. Do you really want to kill your only brother? My parents will definitely be sad if they know you killed me. Sunny Goku snorted coldly. You bastard. You actually took my three or four year old daughter as a hostage. You don't deserve to use them as a shield. So Sunny Goku's foot crushed him a little harder again. No, don't kill me. You are my brother. I am leaving the earth right now. Don't kill me. The energy bomb in Sun Goku's palm grew one point bigger. But hearing him call him brother, the faces of Burdock and Jain appeared in Sunny Goku's mind. He really couldn't do it for a while. Raditz seemed to notice that Goku had softened his heart and begged for mercy again. Kakarot, please, believe me, brother, I know I was wrong. I will definitely leave the earth. Sunny Goku looked at the aircraft. Sun Mi and Sun Tong's crying has not stopped yet. He was still calling daddy. I finally made a decision in my heart. Even Vegeta only relied on his own strength to defeat his opponents openly. And this Raditz actually knows how to threaten hostages. Any hidden danger that threatens your family should be eliminated. Sunny Goku released Raditz from under his feet and walked towards the aircraft. People watching the movie sighed. Piccolo, is he still going to let Raditz go? Clint. This guy knows how to do dirty things and even use his children as a threat. That Goku shouldn't have let him go. Son Goku, Krillin, I can actually understand him. When I first heard Raditz call me brother, I also felt soft-hearted for a while. What's more, my parents are still alive in that world, so I can't do anything about it. Number 18 bit him to death, and said, He is such a stubborn guy, he shouldn't be kept. Freezer, oh ho 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 ho, I hate the character of your Saiyan the most. It makes people want to vomit. Topo. Even if you don't kill this kind of person, you shouldn't let him go, you should arrest him. Hit, some people are bad guys in their bones, and they shouldn't be let go. Gabe, seeing another universe, our Saiyan has such a bullying, greedy life and fearful death, 
It's really disgusting. Caulifla raised her hand and said, Hey, Sunny Goku over there, don't let him go, kill him quickly. Vegeta, that guy raided. I've never looked down on him. The screen continues to play. Sunny Goku opened the aircraft and carried the two daughters out. Then he yelled at Raditz, Go away, don't let me see you again. Raditz hurriedly got into the aircraft. As soon as the switch was pressed, the aircraft ejected into the sky in an instant. A cruel look appeared on Raditz's face again. Kakarot, you guys are idiots who don't know how to use something as powerful as the Dragon Ball. I will never give up. When I gain immortal life, I want you all to die for me. However, just when he was about to leave the atmosphere, a thick kid blast instantly submerged the aircraft. What? R R R. The light dissipated, and Raditz's body was also reduced to ashes in the energy wave. Question mark ding. The prize winning Q&A is over. The correct answer this time is, none. Question mark. People watching the movie were shocked. Klin was shocked. It's reversed again. Raditz was killed. Number 18. I got the wrong answer. However, seeing Goku kill that guy, I don't know how. But I feel very comfortable. Colin, if you want to blame, blame this guy. He's too f king dead. For Dragon Ball, he actually kidnapped a child and threatened him. And it was his niece who was tied up. Sure enough, that Goku is not as easy to talk to as our Goku. Vegeta, it's a beautiful kill. Although I didn't answer it correctly, this is the style of a bloody Saiyan. At this moment, Vegeta realized that the reason why he gave the wrong answer was it's because he already regards himself as an earthling. Deal with problems according to the thinking of people on earth. Until Sunny Goku bombed Raditz to death and destroyed all traces of his body, only then did he realize that he had gradually lost Saiyan's decisive nature. Mark Harita, oh, I was killed by Goku because I gave the wrong answer. However, Raditz is so ambitious that killing him is just what I want. Cassie, I made the mistake of following the trend. I should have chosen a Piccolo. I don't know what happened to me in that world. I haven't seen it for a long time. There was no Goen in that world, nor was there the father-son relationship that trained him. He is worried that Piccolo in that world will be like Raditz. He went to commit suicide again and was killed by that Goku. The red-bordered image gradually faded away. The blue-bordered picture played again. Dongtu. Two circular aircraft suddenly fell from the sky. Many buildings were blown up and several cars were blown away. The people lying in the ruins were shocked. What's going on here? Terrible. Something seems to have fallen from the sky. A man looked over and saw that his house was in ruins. I couldn't help but cursed. Damn it. My house collapsed before my loan was repaid. Two aircraft doors opened. Vegeta and Nappa walked out. The earth is like this. It's not bad. Nappa's lips quirked. Say hello to these guys who have never seen the world. Nappa's breath surged all over his body and he raised his fingers. A violent explosion rose from the ground, and the entire city was reduced to ruins in an instant. 46 Nappa kills four times. Goku is finally here. In the blue light curtain, Vegeta and Nappa checked with detectors, and flew towards the response with high combat effectiveness. Kling, Yanka, Shinshinhan, Dumplings, Piccolo, and Little Goen. They also flew in the direction of the energy reaction. Goku of Ki Wang Planet is also galloping fast on the Snake Road, rushing to the battlefield. In addition to Goku, people came to the vicinity of the battlefield one after another. Piccolo was wary of Saiyan, only to see a bald head appear. It turned out to be Kalin, and he was slightly relieved. Turning his head, he said disdainfully, It's you, what are you doing here? You're not here to make trouble? Kalin laughed and said, Don't underestimate me, my martial arts have also improved a lot. Piccolo twitched his mouth and said, It seems so. Won't the other idiots come too? That's right. Everyone will come. I'm just closer. Kalin approached little Goen and asked in a low voice, Goen, you must have suffered a lot practicing with Piccolo, right? Goen nodded. Well, but Uncle Piccolo is very nice to me. The people who watched the movie watched the soldiers of the earth rushing over, and cheered for them one after another. The soldiers of the earth are really amazing. They rush to the front line whenever there is danger. To my surprise, that Piccolo also entered the battle to defend the earth. Ha 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 ha. Yes. Isn't that the great devil who wants to rule the earth, and he has become the guardian of the earth? That Goen actually said Uncle Piccolo. It seems that the relationship between the two has been cultivated since then. Not bad. As the audience spoke, they looked at Goen and Piccolo from the seventh universe. From the start of the tournament of power, Piccolo and Goen were pretty much tied. Their father-son relationship is obvious to all. Goen also looked at Piccolo, and the two of them were silent. In an instant, Vegeta and Nappa came in front of several people. Vegeta asked curiously. Are you waiting for us? Piccolo stood at the forefront and said, Yes, just to be on the safe side, let me ask again, why are you here? Vegeta checked their combat effectiveness, and the corners of his mouth were almost tilted to the sky. Nappa seemed to disdain to fight against guys with low combat effectiveness like them. Several cultivators were planted directly, with several cultivators unearthed. Shinshinhan, Yamka and Dumplings also arrived. A battle broke out in an instant. Shinshinhan strikes first, taking on a cultivator. In just a few strokes, 
Chen Shin Han defeated the cultivator. When the cultivator stood up again, Veg Da knocked the cultivator off with one finger. The other four cultivators all panicked. Watching the movie, Topo frowned. It turns out that the second child of 10,000 years was once a bad person. Dispo, it seems so. Jiras, I'm already familiar with this routine. It must be the fighters of the seventh universe who influenced them with love. Love is the greatest thing in this world. Kalin looked at those cultivators, and his thoughts floated up again. At that time, Yamka died of self-explosion. Cultivating people is really my nightmare. Just as Klin said this, there was a violent explosion on the screen. Turning around, Yamka had been blown to death. His body was curled up in the blasted earth pit, smoking all over his body. He died and walked away peacefully. This picture is so beautiful. Take a picture, take a picture. It's really good enough to cultivate people, and it's interesting that they all died together. The next moment, Klin showed his power. A large Kamamiya was lifted into the air and countless kid blast blasted to death three cultivators. The last cultivator attacked Goen and was shot dead by Piccolo. Vegetu and Napple emerged unscathed in kid blast. They walked out of the smoke and dust, and the battle also entered the topic at this moment. Nappa came out. The tall and mighty body trembled. The remaining five fighters all began to break out in cold sweat, but they still couldn't stop their determination to fight to the death. Shin Shin Hun, a master who once stood shoulder to shoulder with Goku, his arm was actually broken by one move. Seeing her beloved being abused, Jiozi gave up her life and blew herself up, but it still didn't hurt Nappa. The Kaigong cannon that Shin Shin Han tried his best was useless, and he died in battle. Piccolo also died fighting to save Goen. The scene was once tragic. Just when Nappa was about to kill Goen, Sunny Goku finally came. The audience also breathed a sigh of relief. That guy Sunny Goku is here. If it's a little later, the group will be wiped out. I have to say, the Earth in the Seventh Universe is really full of disasters. Freezer, regret why I didn't destroy the Earth sooner. Unexpectedly? A mere vegeta back then could bring the earth into misery. If I had sent the Genuit team there, the earth would have been gone long ago. Kalin, you mean the Genuit team? Those guys have poisoned Goen a lot. Goen froze, remembering the time when he was Super Saiyan Superman, with that awkward dancing posture, a touch of rosiness appeared on his face. Uncle Kalin, I was still young at that time, and I can't do it now. Librian from the second universe exclaimed, my male god survived, that's great. Kalin, I almost died again but it scared me. Frieza looked at Krillin. If you had died in Vegeta's hands back then, there would be no Vegeta today. Vegeta, you killed the little bald head. Aren't you standing here now? Frieza pointed to his angel aura. I'm still dead. 47. Red Goku tanks you. Nappa landed in a box. Finally, Goku faced Nappa. To the audience's surprise, Sunny Goku just killed Nappa. It was Vegeta who finally killed Nappa. After Nappa's death, Vegeta finally made his move. Goku was no match for Vegeta back then. Fortunately, Kling and Goen can also help. There is also a meaty Yasuo who steals a tower and cuts off Vegeta's tail. However, even though Vegeta fought three against one, he still maimed everyone. Looking at the scenes in the light curtain, Vegeta couldn't help sighing. This was the first time he fought Kakarot, and the last time he beat him in single-handed combat. In the following days, I have been catching up with Kakarot's footsteps, but I am always one step short. Finally, at Goku's request, Krillin dropped his knife and let Vegeta go, because Piccolo died protecting Goen. Earth's Dragon Ball was disabled. In order to revive Piccolo, Kling, Go and Bulma first went to Namek. Goku is too injured, and because of the lack of immortal bins, Goku can only lie on the bed to rest and heal his injuries. A month later, Kalinda's fairy bins arrive. Goku finally escaped the pain of injections every day. A fairy bin went down, and he was cured. At this time, the spaceship in the gravity room of Brive's universe ship has also been remodeled. Sunny Goku took the only fairy beans, took the universe ship, and went to Namek. Everyone started a heated discussion again. Topo exclaimed, that Piccolo de Imao from a demon who wants to rule the world, turned out to be a hero who died for others. I give full marks to this wave of operations on the earth. Jiren's eyes flashed, and he said, that Goku really has a magical power, his enemies have turned into comrades in arms who share life and death, he is really amazing. Jiren is a person who doesn't believe in his teammates, but only in himself. At the end of Tournament of Power, he was defeated by Sunny Goku and Frieza. He has begun to understand the tacit understanding between teammates. The blue light curtain gradually faded away. The red light curtain gradually lit up. In the same Dongdu, two powerful auras descended from the sky. Dot. The soldiers of the earth also rushed towards Dongdu. Kling, Piccolo, Yanka, Shin Shin Han, Dumplings. Only without Goen. Two circular aircraft landed in Dongdu. Several houses were also blown up and several vehicles were blown up. People panicked. But I couldn't help but look at what was falling from the sky. At this point, Nappa and Vegeta stepped out. Nappa just finished talking about sending a welcome gift to Earth. He just lifted his finger, and his breath has not yet condensed. Suddenly, a ray of light from far to near, straight through Nappa's brow. Nappa opened her eyes and fell heavily with disbelief. The moviegoers gasped when they saw this scene. F.K. 
Is that guy dead? Is that what Goku did? I was slaughtered when I came to the door. This Nappa is even worse. That's right. Although the last Nappa died in the end, he still got triple kills. Caliph laughed loudly. Ha 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 ha. I'm dying of laughter. It's really outrageous. I haven't even met anyone, and the gift hasn't been given yet, and I was instantly caught. Red Goku, give you a thumbs up. Giving heads across the star field, Nappa is really miserable. Red Goku is really fast, Nappa is in a box, it's a show. Ha ha ha, although he is a big villain, I really sympathize with him. Freezer, damn mentally retarded, I can't stand this kind of Saiyan the most. The ability is not strong, pretending to be forceful and wandering around. They are wild and unruly, all of them are pretentious, and all of them are rebellious, so die well. Goen. The earth seems more stable without me. Piccolo, Goen, don't think so. The main reason is that Goku is different, much more reliable than your father. Go and nodded. Well, I know. Compared to having such a father, I still think Uncle Piccolo is better. Sunny Goku also watched that scene with his eyes wide open. That I killed someone without even saying a word, isn't it too hostile? Master Roshi said, Goku, the landing has already caused quite a bit of damage to earth. Sometimes, bad guys may not be able to persuade him to return to his last path. Let him suffer retribution as soon as possible to prevent others from being hurt. Sunny Goku nodded, that's right, in that world dumpling, Shin Shinhan and Yamku are not dead, and neither is Piccolo. Shin Shinhan, in that world, it seems that it is not our turn to make a move. Only Vegetu is alone, and that Sunny Goku can easily defeat him alone. Chichi looked at Nappa in the light curtain and was instantly rejoiced when he appeared on the stage. That guy got punished as soon as he came up. That Goku did a great job. Vegeta couldn't help breaking out in a cold sweat. As soon as he saw Nappa playing, he felt a little uneasy. In that world, will he fall directly on the earth? If so, equal to this world, all his achievements are given by Kakarot. That would be ridiculous. The red light curtain continued to play. Vegeta saw a hidden move and killed Nappa. There was a little panic on his face. He hastily searched around. Sneak attack, come out. In the next moment, Sunny Goku's figure flashed, and he stood directly in front of Vegeta. You are Kakarot. You just killed Nappa? Yes. Vegeta fixed his eyes and immediately pressed the detector. However, the combat strength shown by the probe is only five. Vegeta hesitated. What's the matter? Since you are the guy who killed Nappa, why is your combat strength only five? Could it be? Sunny Goku looked at Vegeta meaningfully and said, Congratulations. You guess right. I will control the combat power. 48 Super Genius? It's just a tragedy tower. The corners of Vegeta's mouth curled up slightly, glancing at Nappa's body lying on the ground. He put on a fighting stance. Sunny Goku asked, Why, are you trying to avenge him? Vegeta said with an evil smile, Don't be kidding, how can I avenge this kind of trash? You just killed a piece of trash. My strength is far from what he can match, let me show you my strength. Sunny Goku looked around at the crowd and said, How about another place? Vegeta said disdainfully, It doesn't matter, it's the same everywhere. Saying that, Sunny Goku flew towards the suburbs. Vegeta also followed closely. After a while, the two came to a desolate Gobi. The people watching the movie became curious. Question mark Topo, in order not to destroy the city during the fight, they actually changed places. This is commendable? Question mark Dispo. Did Vegeta not want to destroy the planet, which affected the price? Krillin, it seems that Goku doesn't intend to kill Vegeta. Question mark. Goen looked at Kalin and asked, Uncle Kalin, why do you say that? Question mark Vegeta, it's very simple. With his strength, he can kill that me without harming the surrounding environment? Question mark Number 18 looked at Vegeta and thought to himself, this guy is quite self-aware? Question mark Son Goku, yeah, Vegeta, I don't feel that I have any murderous intent towards you? Question mark Beerus, it's a real hammer, that guy is definitely a person who has passed the time. I hope Mr. Zeno will not find out. Wise, this movie viewing system can't even move Zeno, it must be some high-end thing, don't care about it. Question mark Vados, stop talking, you two, just watch. Vegeta pointed his thumb at himself, and said, HMPH. It's your honor that a low-level fighter like you can fight against a super genius like me. However, it is not easy for you to defeat Nappa with one move. Vegeta continued, as a Saiyan, you have to undergo quality checks from birth. Nappa was a senior soldier when he was tested, so he was lucky enough to join my team. A guy with low stats like you was sent to a planet with no strong opponents. That is, you are just eliminated. Sunny Goku also took a fighting stance and said, Stop talking nonsense, let's fight. The next moment, Vegeta rushed forward. The moves were as fast as electricity, and countless punches were quickly thrown out. But still haven't met Sunny Goku at all. During the battle, Vegeta suddenly realized something was wrong. His combat effectiveness detector has been beating. But looking intently, there was still only a 5 point combat power value. Vegeta directly threw away the combat power detector. With a loud shout, he increased his strength again and blasted towards Sunny Goku. The next second, Sunny Goku punched Vegeta in the face. In an instant, the severe pain directly made Vegeta's mouth slanted and his eyes slanted, and he flew out uncontrollably. In the middle of the journey, 
He forcibly controlled himself and stabilized his figure, but as soon as he stopped, Sunny Gokka flickered behind him. A hand knife hit Vegeta directly on the shoulder. Crack. There was a sound of shattering shoulder blades. Vegeta's body was shot down instantly, directly smashing a big hole in the ground. The cloud of smoke cleared, and Vegeta looked at the sky in disbelief. His eyes were full of shock and disbelief. Impossible. Absolutely impossible. I am a majestic Saiyan super genius. How could I lose to a low-level fighter without the power to fight back? The people watching the movie started laughing. Topo. That Goku grew up much earlier than him. The gap is a bit too big. Question mark. So, what super Vegeta, that guy will boast, isn't it just a tragic tower of speed, and I still can't get rid of this problem? Question mark. Number 18 flicked his hair and said with a smile, seeing his gesture, I guess the result. Number 17, it's still guesswork, the Goku practice at the same time is too advanced. It was a dimensionality reduction blow for that Vegeta. Sunny Goku looked down at Vegeta and asked, what's the matter, is this the level of a super genius? Vegeta stood up abruptly, damn it, you actually look down on me. Let you see my true strength. Vegeta quickly flew into the sky, and the strength of his body began to gather. In an instant, black clouds rolled in the sky, and violent lightning scattered around him. Even the ground began to vibrate under the influence of his breath. A powerful aura gathered around him, setting off a violent gust of wind, and Vegeta is in the center, like the eye of a storm. Suddenly, the atmosphere stopped flowing. Vegeta has finished gathering energy. Your end is here, Kakarot. Saying that, Vegeta rushed towards Sunny Goku at a very fast speed with a wicked smile. However, that was when Vegeta's elbow was about to hit Sunny Goku. Sunny Goku came from behind and knocked Vegeta back with a knee bump and shot backwards. Before he could stop his body, Sunny Goku dodged to reach the sky above him again. With a hard dunk, Vegeta was shot down again. There was a violent explosion on the ground, and bursts of smoke and dust were set off. The smoke dissipated, and Vegeta lay sprawled on the ground. A smile curled up on Sunny Goku's mouth. Super genius? That's it. 49 The Tragedy Tower hammered dad lives. Piccolo, Krillin. Shinshinhan and others also arrived on the battlefield while they were talking. Just now they saw Sunny Goku knock Vegeta to the ground with one blow. None of them took it too seriously. But when Vegeta gathered all the energy in his body, the violent air current was like a typhoon. The sky was full of lightning and the trembling earth. It all means that this Vegeta is not simple. That kind of power is simply devastating. They all started to sweat for Sunny Goku. However, what is even more unexpected is that even Vegetu is as strong as this. He was actually defeated by Sunny Goku in one move. It can be said that he has no power to fight back. A deep fear arose in Piccolo's heart. A feeling of powerlessness arose spontaneously, and sweat dripped from his face inadvertently. He never thought that after several years of hard training, not only did he not surpass him, on the contrary, the gap with him is actually so big now. The dream of world domination seemed to be completely shattered. Klen took a breath. Sunny Goku is too awesome. That Saiyan's aura is so strong that he can't even block one of his moves. Shinshinhan also had cold sweat on his forehead and didn't know what to say. Dumpling looked even more confused. He didn't even see what was happening. Vegeta's heart was filled with deep reluctance and that bottomless fear. Suddenly, his eyes froze because there is a full moon in the sky. He suddenly remembered that in order to speed up the progress of cleaning up life on Earth, we specially chose the day when the Earth is full moon to arrive. With the moonlight shining into Vegeta's eyes, his heart was pounding. In the next moment, Vegeta's whole body expanded rapidly, and his whole body was covered with hair. His armor also expanded with his transformation. Soon, an extremely tall giant ape appeared. Ha 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 ha, Kakarot, your end has come. You lower level warriors will become Guiru, a madman who only knows destruction. But I am different, I can master this power perfectly. I see how you resist me. Seeing Vegeta transform into a giant ape, Sunny Goku realized that today is the full moon. Without Goen, Piccolo would not have destroyed the full moon. The next moment, Sunny Goku tore off a piece of cloth and covered his eyes directly. The audience were all stunned. Cauliflower, I have been long heard that Saiyan with a tail can transform into a giant ape, and the transformation was completed soon. What is he doing? Why is he blindfolded? Champa. Didn't you hear what Vegeta said? That Sunny Goku is some kind of low-level warrior. He will lose his mind when he transforms into a giant ape. If that guy loses his mind, it seems like the Earth will be doomed. Vados covered his mouth and chuckled. Master Champu actually knows how to use his brain. It's not easy. Kyle, but, sister, how can we hit him when he is covering his eyes and can't see? Hit. Some masters are very powerful without using their eyes. They can fight through breath perception. Vegeta clenched his fists fiercely. That idiot. Haven't you realized that the other party is far more powerful than you? Why are you still fooling around? Sunny Goku smiled and said, Vegeta, that was you back then, how could you call him stupid? Number 18, yes, isn't that just talking about yourself? Klen suddenly felt nostalgic and said to himself, Vegeta was very unruly back then. No Saiyan is allowed to pass him. As a result, since Goku transformed into Super Saiyan, he has been chasing Goku, 
but he has never caught up. The great ape Vegeta stomped on Sunny Goku. Although Sunny Goku was blindfolded, he still had a strong sense of wind and easily avoided his big feet. The giant ape Vegeta stepped forward again, thinking of crushing Sunny Goku to death. Unexpectedly, Sunny Goku stopped hiding after dodging twice. Instead, he punched Vegeta's soul. Vegeta was disdainful at first. However, when he couldn't control his body shape, he once again found that he was wrong. His small body was so powerful that he was knocked down with one punch. The next moment, Sunny Goku flashed to his side and grabbed his tail tightly with both hands. Drive his whole body and throw him up. The next moment, Vegeta seemed to have become a sandbag, being hammered by Sunny Goku on the left and right. The entire ground continued to explode due to Vegeta's blows. The earth also vibrated with his frequency. Sunny Goku was thankful that this was a wilderness, otherwise the city would have been destroyed. After just a few breaths, Great Tape's Vegeta was beaten again until his muscles and bones were shattered, and he lay sprawled on the ground. Even he and Great Tape was defeated by a normal Saiyan, still a junior soldier, blindfolded. This battle was his most humiliating one. At this moment Vegeta has already doubted life. It seems that due to exhaustion of energy or excessive injuries, Vegeta's body shrank. Sunny Goku's figure flashed and arrived at Vegeta's side. He could no longer move. Sunny Goku said, Vegeta, now you know this genius of yours. There is no difference between me and a lower level soldier. Vegeta kept trembling, and tears flowed out of the corners of his eyes inadvertently. Sunny Goku frowned. You guys. Shouldn't you be thinking about surpassing me? Why is there no fighting spirit at all? People watching the movie burst into laughter again. God is so fighting spirit, you hit him three times in a row. He has no power to fight back, so what fighting spirit does he have left? Question mark this is too difficult for someone to do. Question mark. Clin, hey, Vegeta in that world is so pitiful. Not only was he defeated by Goku, but his self-esteem was also destroyed. Vegeta said angrily, shut up, that's me in another world. What does it have to do with me? Clin was stunned for a moment. Well, that's true. Because of the existence of Goku, it seems that we are all useless. Piccolo, in that world, I was never able to catch up with Goku even once. Goen, Uncle Piccolo, as long as you can follow me to Namek in that world, you will definitely grow up. Question mark. 50 That Goku has a lot of eyes. Soon, Sunny Goku stopped torturing him. He ate a fairy bin for him, which made him recover from his injuries. A genius who hasn't grown up, it's no fun beating him. Vegeta is gifted, self-respecting and proud, always thinking about defeating Sunny Goku with his own strength. From the moment I came to this world, relying on foresight, hard work and no detours in cultivation, Sunny Goku was always ahead of the times, and no opponent could hold him for a round. He has been waiting for a qualified opponent to appear, and Vegeta has always been his first choice. Vegeta ate the fairy bins and healed instantly. His fighting power has also increased a lot at this moment. He was amazed. Xiandu, there is such a miraculous thing on this earth but he has a clue in his heart. Only this time he was healed from a serious injury, and he was far from being Kakarot's opponent. However, it was this fairy bin that ignited his fighting spirit. This kind of treasure, combined with Saiyan's talent is simply wonderful. No wonder he can be so strong. Vegeta understood Sunny Goku's unreasonable fighting power. I'm a genius. I'm Saiyan's one in a million combat genius. From the moment he was born, his combat strength reached 3000. Kakarot is just a low-level fighter born with only two fighting power. He can rely on this fairy bin on the earth to grow to his current combat effectiveness. Then I am a super genius. If I have Xiandu, I will definitely be able to far surpass him. Sunny Goku watched helplessly as he went from staring blankly. He regained the rebellious look he had when he came here. He already knew what Vegeta was thinking in his heart. Vegeta, want to beat me? Vegeta got up and looked at Sunny Goku in disbelief. It was extremely unreasonable to let him go when he could have been easily killed. Vegeta demanded, why didn't you kill me? Sunny Goku said, compared to killing you, I feel that keeping you is more useful. Vegeta's eyes flashed. Could it be that he wants to drive him like Frieza? Vegeta said viciously, damn it, I am a dignified Prince Saiyan, so I won't. Stop. Sunny Goku immediately extended his palm and interrupted Vegeta. I'm not driving you. And I know. You are also very disgusted to let Frieza and others drive you. I've always thought of Frieza. Vegeta was taken aback again. Why was he thinking so accurately? How did you know? Sunny Goku said, actually, planet Vegeta was not destroyed by a meteorite. It was Frieza who was afraid of Super Saiyan appearing, and he himself was unhappy with Saiyan. Saiyan was deliberately called back to the planet, and then a supernova energy bomb destroyed planet Vegeta. Saiyan was almost wiped out, and it was all caused by him. Hearing this scene, Vegeta's pupils trembled. With Vegeta's IQ, it's not hard to guess that the resurrected Burdock must have told him. However, he is still a cold-blooded person at the moment, and he is not too sad about the destruction of planet Vegeta. The only thing he was not reconciled to was that he was defeated by a lower-level fighter. Sunny Goku didn't kill him, and gave him the fairy bends to restore, and Sunny Goku mentioned the reason for the destruction of planet Vegeta. 
Veg to figure everything out with a simple thought. It turned out that he was waiting for him to come to Earth and teamed up to defeat Frieza. He must have taken a fancy to his talent. By himself a low-level fighter. Even if there is a fairy bean, it is still difficult to cultivate to the level that can defeat Frieza. And he Vegeta is different. He is a recognized genius. As long as there are fairy beans, with time, the combat power can far surpass him. Even, can become the legendary Super Saiyan. Defeating Frieza, and possibly even ruling his universe empire is just around the corner. For a split second Vegeta's pride flared up again. Vegeta looked at Sonny Goku and asked, What are you going to do? Follow me to planet Namek, Frieza will be there soon. He wants to find the Dragon Ball of Namek and make a wish for immortality. We need to get there in time to finish him off. Your strength is not enough yet. But time is running out, you can only practice on the spaceship. In addition, there is a gravity room on the spaceship, which can be used for cultivation. It will also provide you with enough celestial beans. It will take at least a month to get there. This month, you need to practice constantly. Vegeta looked surprised. All this has been arranged. Wait, is it possible that I turned against Frieza and wanted to hang out with you, a low-level fighter? It's so beautiful. When my strength surpasses yours, there will be a day when you will regret it. However, before Vegeta could figure it out, Sunny Goku said again, I know that you are so proud and arrogant that it is impossible for you to be someone else's younger brother. But, for the time being, I don't need you to do anything. You just need to get stronger. That's fine. As long as you succeed in cultivation and defeat me, I will be at your mercy from now on. If you lose to me after challenging me, then you can only let me drive you. Unless you can surpass me, I can exchange identities with you. Vegeta gasped again. Provide a gravity room and fairy bins for my cultivation. Is there such a good thing? Could it be that this guy is so self-righteous that he can overwhelm me for the rest of his life with his low-level fighter talent? Hee <laughs> hee, go dreaming, I'm a super genius. However, the people in the seventh universe in front of the screen couldn't hold back anymore. Question mark Vegeta, damn it. That Kakarot wants me to be his younger brother? Colin, ha ha ha. It seems that Goku is very smart, and wants Vegeta to be his little brother for the rest of his life. Number 17, I guess. After that Vegeta has planned to defeat Son Goku, how about showing off in front of Sonny Goku? Number 18, as everyone knows, his mentality was tightly manipulated by that Goku. He never thought that he would never be able to surpass Sonny Goku in this life. Question mark Master Roshi, unexpectedly, our Goku is so simple. Goku in that world has so many cunning minds. It makes me laugh to death. Beerus, I'm afraid that Vegeta won't let him dictate even if he loses? Question mark wise, Master Beerus, that's not necessarily the case. Mr. Vegeta's self-esteem is very high. If he lost to that son he got so dignifiedly, he would listen. He took advantage of Vegeta's haughty personality. Of course, at the same time he will definitely work hard to surpass son he got Vegeta looked at the light curtain and clenched his fists tightly. If you like this audiobook, subscribe the channel for more videos like this and join my Patreon if you want to support me. Leave some comment and let me know if you guys like this story, or you have a web novel you like and want to hear its audiobook, I will be happy to create them for you. Please like, share, and leave a comment on the video.